Hello, hello, hello. How are we all doing? Should be kicking off any second now. Here we go. Well, I hope everybody's had a good week. Just wait for this thing to load up. Takes a while now. <laughs> and this is just the coal plant. <laughs> It's going to be really interesting to see how um, how this goes once I start the next project because the next project's um, a lot bigger than the coal plant, so it's going to be interesting. Hey, Tech, nice to see you. And you're finally on a Friday too. It's Saturday here, but hey. <laughs> Nice to see you, and thank you for joining, and jumping in and saying hi. So, um, for you that have guys that haven't seen this, <laughs> now you're fine, Tech. Don't worry. Time zones are an absolute pain in the backside. <laughs> So this is my coal plant which is under construction at the moment and um, we've got a ridiculous train that's <laughs> it's stupidly just running the whole length of this delivering coal basically into this station here and then I'm still working on the dome at the moment. Um, which is sort of like a work in progress at the moment. There's Mr. Extra Fresh, who will uh, hopefully be joining us at some point this morning. He said he's going to be coming in. Oh, thank you. Hello, Whiskey Punk. How you doing, mate? Thank you for joining and jumping in. So this is my crazy coal generator setup. It's not finished by any means yet. We're still working on it. Extra's been doing a lot of work in here for me to help me out. Um, just to save a bit of time while I've been fiddling around on the end dome. Um, but just to give you an idea, I'll give you a little shot for those that haven't seen it. So far this is what it's sort of looking like. Hello there Anna. Thank you for joining. So basically we've got the water extractors on this side which are there's I think 20 uh, we've set up on each side to feed the 80 um, generators and then that's plumbed in and we've taken that down and underneath here and then back up here basically and back in to feed off we do have a really crazy idea to do with this and uh, this map of the coal plant we're actually going to hand over to POB if um, any of you guys, I'm sure many of you do, know Pobcac. And um, I'm actually handing it over to him to play with to see whether we can get something really crazy going with the lights or whether it breaks his, his PC again. Um, so we'll, we'll wait and see. <laughs> Good 
Good grief, I'm sure you just laugh at my buildings. No, Tack, I don't. I don't laugh at other people's buildings. I, um, I actually really enjoy watching other people build, however simple or complex their builds are, because everybody has a little way of doing things differently. And I'm constantly learning, even after the thousands of hours that I've played. Um, there's always little things that I look at on other people's builds, and I'm like, man, why didn't I think of that? Or, you know, or it triggers another idea. And you'll know if you've been in any of Popcak's um, things. I, he's one of the few guys I can really brainstorm things, and I'll just barrage ideas out sometimes, and most of it's just drivel. Um, but occasionally it will trigger something for him as well, and it's one of those things I like doing with people um, is brainstorming because that's what I do. But um, yeah, so no, I did, don't laugh at other people's builds, and I really enjoy watching you and many others um, do their live streams. So um, yeah, <laughs> so no laughing going on there. Whiskey Park, howdy and not too shabby. Wrapping up the end of my day almost makes me miss playing. Almost. Yeah. No, I know what you mean, mate. I had a, this last week's been a, a nightmare at work for me, so um, it was not a good week. But anyway, it's over. And uh, funny enough, you guys got me through the week because I was watching a lot of streams at work through the week, so. Um, that actually helped me get through the days, so I uh, appreciate that. So thank you. Now I've got to work out, I've actually got to try and mirror what I did over here and I can't remember. Because my memory is not that brilliant. Nowadays, used to be good, not anymore. Okay, so top, bottom and then the two middles. Okay. So if you've got any questions on anything of how I've done anything, then um, feel free to ask. Um, no problem with that. But the one thing you do need for builds like this, I will tell you now, is patience. <laughs> um, there's been about, I think, 200 hours. Let me have a little look. 212 hours on this so um, that's probably about accurate because sometimes I've left the game running but then there's also been the help from extra fresh who's put in uh, probably a good of 12 hours or so um, onto this build as well helping us so there's about 200 hours just on this build to give you an idea of what's gone in and the difficulty with this dome part is that the actual center point which you cannot currently see um, there we go if I shift around is that pivot point under there just there so that is the pivot point for making the dome and that's basically how I've done it and then just click onto there and bring the pillars oh needed that on zoop like that yeah it's a hell job <laughs> I don't recommend putting your pivot point 50 meters underwater <laughs> wasn't my brightest of ideas but it was too late once I'd sort of started. Yeah, lag, do check out Tequila. Um, she does some great streams, and um, unlike me, who's just a. I'm not a pro streamer at all. I just do it as a hobby once a fortnight just to record basically my builds because my first four maps which I deleted I have no record of any of the builds on them um, 
which is kind of a bit gutting but um but yeah do check her out and she's also taken part in the um pio pio um competition thing so do check that out as well because she did a really not cool build on that i have to say actually all the builders on that were pretty pretty cool um it was very inspirational actually that competition right next to the line that's the fun part of the fun create something new and different every time yep totally mate totally this one here does all the others okay so second row in one there. There's always one. I've slacked off getting my VODs uploaded here. That should pick back up. Got a new hard drive for storage today. Awesome, tack. Yeah, it's one of the things. This computer um, although it's a reasonably good computer it was built for me uh, five years ago so as you can imagine it's now a bit outdated but the biggest problem on it is storage um, and it's one of the things I've got to address at some point I think the PC itself should keep running for another few years at least really because it's actually a good, good PC but um, as long as Windows don't screw up because I haven't got Windows 11 didn't want to go that onto Windows 11 and my guess is at some point the whole thing will stop working because they will do their dirty deed and release an update that stops it all functioning like they do Okay, so that's that bit, and this is where it gets. This is where Extra Fresh set up the pipes last time. I, I left them to it. <laughs> While I was doming. So, uh, I'll have to try and work out what he's done. Oh, that's wrong. Why, 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 why? Just do it that way, not this to be key. So, how many out are we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So, hopefully, that's lined up right. You've got until at least October of 2025 till they stop supporting Windows 10. Mm, yeah, that was my fear. So it may be that 20, end of 2025, 26, something like that, I may have to try and get a new PC. Or get the Windows 11 updated, but the PC will be sort of well out of date by then. saying it was 17 wasn't it I said Grr. 15, 16, 17, I think we've gone too far I'm hoping or well, you haven't gone too far over here oh maybe that was just for mm. have I cocked up and gone one over the whole thing 
I'll tell you a little secret. If you've watched, uh, if you haven't watched the other um, thing of this being built, when I did the first setup of this arc, it was out by half a meter. So I had to destroy it all and move it half a meter. <laughs> hey, make it gaming. How you doing, mate? Good evening. Nice to have you on board. Are you jumping in at all on game? Um, sure. Okay. Nice. I sat down, so but I saw the voice channel was open. Yep. You are on live. I'll send you a link um, on DM. One second. Uh, where are my more places? Session settings, copy to clipboard. That's the one. Uh, guys, if you don't know uh, Maker Gaming, by the way, he does some brilliant videos and very cool, unusual builds. Uh, very, very clever with polygons. So do check him out as well. Super cool videos to watch. There's the link sent. Uh, Maker. Um, I am extra fresh. Ah, extra fresh. Sorry. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I thought Maker came and jumped in then. Right, sorry, got confused. And extra fresh also does some awesome builds. So another one. Let me just. Uh, just not. Just not the videos. Just not the videos. Yeah. So I got completely confused there doesn't take much. Right, where are we? You said it. <laughs> I did. I know myself well. Oh git, losing the plot. Alright. There you go. Okay. Right. Oh, no worries, makeup. Sorry, I got confused there anyway, so don't worry, mate. is 18 so I'm okay I've missed the first one that was all I don't have to take it all down <laughs> that's a sigh of relief Oh, you were checking both sides and see if they are. Yeah, I had to. F I miscounted on this side. I counted seventeen, and then I was like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> you know me, and you do know me in the respects of I would take it down to redo it. You would, and you would also refuse to use skim for it. Yep. Just because I am crazy. Okay, so that's central. Exit right. tip number 45. Hey, <laughs> nice to see you again. <laughs> you got in with no problems. I've taken all the um, mods off that I had anyway, so it, it's vanilla build anyway, so it doesn't matter. Should work, should work. Yeah. <laughs> Just because, yep. <laughs> so where are we going? All right. Just trying to see how you set up these pipes last time, so I can try and match them, mirror them across. Um, Would you like me to do it? Hey, you're more than welcome. Yep, carry on. Hon. The other thing, um. Yeah, I don't want to do the dome too much today on a live stream just because it's so boring for people to watch the same thing over and over and over again. 
Right. Is that right? Or did I cock up? I think it was on these outsides, wasn't it? Uh, no, these are the ones that I did with a half a meter offset. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. I'll let you do it then. If you know... <laughs> you can yeah. remember what you've done, I'd go. I, th I was underwater at the time. <laughs> I was working on this beast. So what else do I need to do? Oh, I need to set up the other water extractors. That's right, because I've only done half of those. Yeah, like I, I recommend having a look at uh, gaming's uh, videos. Um, some really clever, clever builds. So one thing I like about the Satisfactory community, actually, it's just an awesome bunch of people, basically, generally speaking. You get your old idiot, but um, in most circumstances, most people are really cool and doing really cool stuff, and they're happy to share, which is awesome. Most people in their right minds would actually put the water extractors down first and then build around it, which I did on the first one I hastened to add, but second time well, round. <laughs> the people you describe are playing other games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, who was that? Someone ping me. No, we're all right. Okay, cool. I don't think I've set up yet, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. And it's there around about there. <clears throat> the end one gets a bit warped out. Sweet ass, right, let's find out where they're connected to now. I think the first two go up high. So what what actually is the to-do list for the for this build? Because I think we're getting we're, reasonably close. We are getting reasonably close. I think the um, the key thing is get I've got to get these water extractors done today. Um, we need to get the lines, the water pipelines obviously going into the generators. Yep. And then we've got to do the two, uh, the rest of the coal um, lines in uh, yep. from where they've been, from the station basically through underneath. I mean, um, one of those two is already done. Yeah, so one of those is going and they're functioning, I think absolutely fine at the moment. Everything's nice and level. Which is cool. So um, yeah, it's just really that, and then it, to be honest, it's, after that, it's just me getting the dome finished, um, which will be done probably off screen because <clears throat> there's a few hours work there. Excuse me. Few. <laughs> Not the most interesting work. <clears throat> no, I mean once people have seen the technique, it's. It's just repeat and rinse, so um, it gets a bit tiring. Half of a giant spear, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. But it's alright. 
that's all been good fun all part of the experiment anyway <laughs> so the first two are going to the bottom second two are going to top okay And underneath all this, um, in case you haven't seen, you can only really see it at night time a little bit, a glow. But there's actually lights. Oh, there's one I missed. Look at that. And now I've lost my... Oh, I know what I've got to do. Advanced game settings. Because I turned the, um, the mod off for flight. I'll return it on there. I don't like the in-game fly mode. That's why I use mods. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Control C, Control V. There you go. Yes, yeah, so all of those have got a blue glow underneath them as well. So one last decision to be made. Yep. Do you like the way that the pipes are routed? Here, these on the east wing, the yes. section from where they come up from the ground to where they go into the uh, into the so they basically go up once and then once again. Yeah, <laughs> no, I don't have a problem with that. I mean, the only other way we could have done it was take it underground all the way to the end and then take them straight up, but I actually quite like seeing some of the pipes out. Okay. Adds a bit of interest at this end for the two parts to join. I'm still thinking about this extra arc going in over here, replicating this one here. Sorry, I'm losing your bit. Oh, just, yeah. Just to sort of add a, a sort of almost like a link through to the dome. But we'll see. It is quite busy. Crazy busy. Yeah. I am not sure if that is what you needed. My SF skills are good. My tech skills are not. Ah, uh, just maker, you're understating yourself, mate. You do some awesome stuff. Seriously, mate. I may be so bold. I think uh, Sir Lag's question. Uh, knowing Maker, he'll be very pleased to get a shout out. So, yeah. Did I do the bend on the inside or the outside of that? I can't remember. That's why I say, people, my brain has been fried. <laughs> It's probably through all the paint oil turps over the years. <laughs> oh, it was on the inside, cool. Yep. I used to even make my own oil paints years ago when I first started out. That was a crazy time. Good learning curve though. There's this, um, this series of running gags in, in Dutch where it, you, you start a sentence by saying vroeger, which means in the old days, and then it's just like something something stupid, like, you know, when the, when the sex was dirty and the air was clean, it's like, <laughs> you know, those are the old days. <laughs> didn't have speed bumps we had we had potholes <laughs> I was trying to post lag my but, channel info know. but it didn't work maybe websites are restricted in chat what up extra you popping into my world is what I'm editing right now lol <laughs> yeah make a game I don't think um, we can pop those in but I can send lag um, a link to your 
channel info I can probably do that let me are you trying to send him your discord information or just your uh, website or whatever your YouTube channel See if I can actually do it myself here. Hang on a second, let me see if it. There you go. Did that show up? Did. So it looks like I can post, but people can't. Okay. I think you'll need to um, set the rights for it. Right, yep. Yeah. Probably. I'm not very techy with that sort of stuff. I don't know uh, what I'm doing. I just work it's here. A, it's, a, it's a massive <laughs> rabbit hole. You can have admins and then people like who can ban people, but not like, oh man. Yeah. Nah, I'm just doing it as a hobby. <laughs> I don't want to get that involved. Right, so the those go on the inside of the bottom there. It is kind of a shame there isn't a mirror function um, when you're building. Mirror? Yeah, where you can um, when you where you can mirror your stuff. Building so the outputs are and where you want them. Well, it means then I wouldn't have to do two lots of these um, water extractor systems. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm just being lazy. No other reason. Sweet as. I'm being lazy, says the man who started a 400 hour old. <laughs> Well, as I said before, I said to you the other week, I said I got every every build I've done, coal, coal plant has just been a slab, basically, with generators on, coal in, energy out, end of subject. So this map I decided, that's it, I want to make something epic out of a, go a coal plant because it's always been underlooked. It's always been sort of scoffed at by myself, effectively, so it's kind of like... This time I wanted to restore the honors. Yes, yes. To true pollution. <laughs> <laughs> Radio, they go into that little fella there. I haven't um, overclocked any of these yet. That's the other thing I've got to do. Got to do, got to do. So those four, where are they plumbed in? I'm guessing onto that second pipe that I was just on. Yep. One, two, one, two. Nice and straightforward. Cool. Have I put that on the wrong ones? I think I've put these on the wrong ones, haven't I? Goodness sake, VK. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Come on, chat, keep up. 
You should, should have been shouting out. You idiot. <laughs> <laughs> You want to put them to do your quality control now? Yeah, yeah, I've got to have someone do it. Someone's got to keep an eye on me in my old age. My wife actually this morning, just before she went to work, posted me a link to um, a news item on the BBC in England um, where a, I think she's 76, was it? 72, 76? Let's just have a quick peek. Uh, where are we? It's a dear old Scottish lady. Absolutely fantastic. 75. She's 75 and she's playing Fortnite and has gone basically, I wouldn't say viral, but she's getting a lot of attention, let's say, because some top YouTuber, Fortnite gamer, basically found her and, and basically said, hey, do you want to play alongside me? And she's just, it's just hilarious. She's so sweet. <laughs> 75 years of age playing Fortnite. Absolutely. One brilliant. of the, um, the top, um, content creators for World of Tanks. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I think he's in his 70s as well, 60s at the very least. Uh, mingles with Jingles. Hmm. Very entertaining, uh, entertaining contributor, but he's, you know, He's a retired man, just playing video games and doing his thing. Doing his thing. Yep. yep. When I was playing Eve Online, um, I came across a really sweet dear there. She was in her seventies, um, playing um, Eve. Eve. Eve doesn't count somehow. Eve is. Eve is different from. Yeah. What? And she was playing that. I was really surprised, but and she was she was actually quite famous because she ended up going to the um, EveCon thing in Iceland. Oh, I think I know which lady you're talking about. Yep. Yep. And um, and then she's basically sem effectively went pretty much famous after that in her, the circle because of being the oldest person or something there, and it was just really funny. But she was yep. um, she was in the same. Uh, system basically that I was we used to operate out in the same area and stuff so we'd end up chatting in that quite a bit she was she got into it because her son who was in his 50s or something he um, basically was running stuff and then he asked her one day if he could if she could just run a freighter down to Jitter basically for him with a whole load of stuff which he did and then she got sort of like, oh, this is cool, and <laughs> went from there on to doing all sorts. Funny as. I know these things go, but... I know there's a lot of... Um, it's, it's almost a, a parallel universe so to speak uh, like there's almost a second internet or like that is completely inhabited with uh you know old people for lack of a better word but yeah it's uh i mean it makes all it makes total sense because <clears throat> you know many of them don't have the physical capability to really go yep go places but they can still form communities and they really want to so and you also find there's a lot of um, disabled people um, who mm -hmm. play games as well and I came across that in uh, one of the earliest games that I ever played online which was the Myst um, online game uh, puzzle solving thing and the um, online version of it? yeah they did an online version for it and it was it was quite cool but they they didn't it, like always with these things, they sort of didn't predict um, how quickly people would get through stuff and didn't then add enough content. And there was a whole heap of other stuff that happened at the same time because I got in touch with um, Cyan and one of the guys there um, and was chatting to him privately about it a couple of years later um, and said, what on earth happened? And, and basically what happened was the... the um, can't remember what you call them not the game makers like 
the, the like Coffee Sane Studios, but it's the, like the other lot that promote them. Um, oh yeah, the publishers. Yeah, the publishers. That's the word. And they effectively ripped them off, and they lost tons of money. Um, and that's why they couldn't then add any more content, because they had to strip their team down basically from. I think it was like thirty odd to about five. Um, so it was actually quite tragic. Um, but they've got going again with other games and, and started doing other stuff again, but it was just, they sort of went off on their own a bit more then. Um, but yeah, that was quite... But that game, the point of telling that, of course, was the fact that that game was... Um, there was a lot of disabled people who played that game. And they cried out, so basically, uh, when it closed down, so they kept the server open, so you can still go on there and play it, but there's basically no one in there pretty much nowadays. Is there a wall outlet here underwater? <coughs> uh, where are you? A what outlet? A wall outlet, a power wall, wall, wall outlet. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's that not... Would... It's not... It's not in the way or anything, but... No, I think... It was a bit like an artifact from a bygone era. It was a bygone era. I can't remember what I was doing with it down there. Can't remember. It can go. Oh, I know what it was for. It was when we had the other temporary water extractors up. And I was linking across the two lots. Uh, from one side to the other side. Yep. It was taken off this power pole, I think, over here or something. Anyway, it's gone. If something dies, let me know. And then I'll realise it was crucial to the whole... <laughs> <laughs> now we got to redo the whole plant. <laughs> yep. Sorry, guys, got to rebuild the whole thing. All, right. All has been for naught. <laughs> I must admit, I do not like the lining up of pipes to water extractors. Just don't like it. Yeah. And I think we're going to need pumps on these. Let me just go and check what I did because your memory's melted already. Yep, I did. And then last of all, the other thing we've got to, I've got to do at some point is uh, all the cabling, all the electrics need to be hidden properly and sorted out. But that's uh, bottom of the list job. actually come together quite quickly in the end this I know the first part of the build took forever but I must admit since you've uh, helped out it's actually gone quite quickly that's probably yeah I'm, I'm a slow builder I am <laughs> I usually am a very slow builder as well but it's so weird I'm I function so differently when I'm doing my own thing or when I'm uh, let's helping someone else or working for someone, I function so completely differently. It's so weird. It's because we're paying you. No, we're not. <laughs> About that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, three. That's, that's the other thing. I think I'd, I'd function a lot worse if you'd be paying me for it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, true slave labor is always the best way to go, isn't it? You know that. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So, 
So what have I done here? I've gone to there, gone to there. Is it on this one? I think we're going to here. If you see something in chat that's wrong, just shout. Because, as I say, my brain's fried today. It's been one of those weeks. One. So I've got plans for the next build already starting. Um, I've started doing some doodles. And, oh boy. Uh, yeah. It is going to be based around a plant. So that's going to be an interesting challenge. Okay, let's do this. What are you doing? You're drunk. I'm drunk. Well, no, I'm not, but. I'm working on it, but the <laughs> the game seems to be drunk. Is there a bit of lag, is there? No. It's the way it's drawing pipes. <clears throat> uh. Like, it's all fine, and then suddenly, like, one, I move over by one, uh, by one square, and it just goes haywire. It's like, oh, let me go backwards first, and then come back forward. Very interesting. Could be multiplayer glitches. Just make a gamer's body uh, still there, down in the um, thing. Where? I think his body's still down here, isn't he? He's still sitting down here somewhere. Just to. Oh yeah, I believe it was somewhere down the line. Yeah, there he is. We managed to build around him. There is Maker Gamer. Oh, there's also um, the uh, the walkway below the uh... the maintenance tunnel. Yep. Yep. That all needs to be sorted as well. Yep. Yeah. Make a find your channel without a problem and post it to my Discord channel. My bad. <laughs> Did that link not work? Um, Overlag that I put in there. I don't know how the links work or not work on there. Excuse me munching, I'm gonna have a chocolate biscuit. Been munching this whole time, so <laughs> Uh, okay. No worries, mate. Forward. Yeah, no, that is right. It all becomes a blur. you're working so fast? No. 
my brain <laughs> brain is working so slow today it's really t totally fagged out it's like this week has just totally blown my brains basically at work so it's kind of I got to the weekend and I woke up this morning and I was just like man I can't even think straight when you're dealing with architects and engineers who don't provide your measurements. You bastards! <laughs> I got very frustrated. But anyway, it's weekend now. It's chill time. Made it. Yes, still alive and kicking. Had a couple of whiskeys last night, that helped. Yeah, that's that's a that's a point actually for anybody watching the video or the stream. You know, if you're super rich, and um, and you want to help out, I don't have a patron thingy or get paid or anything, and I don't do ads or anything else. But if you want to send a bottle of whiskey, more than happy to uh, receive. <laughs> Any oil sheiks watching? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I think we've got the pipes in. Which is a start. Right. I've just got to go I'm, through. Go on, sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still doing the underwater part for the for the pipes, but other awesome. than that, be good. I'll go through and get these plugged in with the shards. Um, Could just copy and paste, which would be, I believe, easier. Oh, it doesn't work on these. Okay. That's a shame. Sorry for the delayed answers, I'm doing my weekly housework while listening. No worries, mate. It's just nice to have you pop by. I wonder if I could get a bottle of moonshine to you. <laughs> no, you're right, mate. I was only messing around. Still want to send um, send Woodrow something. Mhm. Mm What's he been? Remember what? Remember uh, when he made that um, <clears throat> only up map? Oh yep. So we were playing that, and it's I mean it's hilarious in itself, but um, the the thing is that you have to have the binary grab these letters the whole time. And sometimes you just bounce off the damn letter and just fall into the into the abyss. Sounds like normal so, normal <laughs> satisfactory play. <laughs> yep. But um like the, the the meme for that for that stream was a bit like it was um was uh you know grab the ladder Becky because you know Becky is the name yeah. of the pioneer. That's, There's another that's... name as well wasn't there? There's another person's name and I always forget it. 
No, Be Becky is um uh the name for the uh, the the, um, the movies that were made, you know, yeah. in Satisfactory, and it's just awesome. Like it's super well done. But there's another name um, on the toilet door. Have you seen it? Or on the I toilet haven't seen wall? it. Yeah, I'll go there it now is... and show you. It's like because I picked up on it a while ago, and I was like, why have they not done anything with this other person's name? As far as I know, I mean, I only know about the um, what is it? The uh, Deep Rock Galactic uh, in-universe adverse advertisement. The other thing I'll do is I can show people as well. Um, now, I mean, this this goes back to what I was saying to Tack earlier um, about how you learn things. Is it on here? Where did I see it? I don't know why I can't. And is that Manika? Back, you see, Becky was here, and then and Manika. Got to get the kids, I'll be back later probably. Great job on the progress since last time I was here, insane. Thank you, mate. Thank you so much uh, for popping by. I think Becky was here as new. Because it wasn't originally called Becky. I think this this is actually a nod to that to those movies. Uh, okay. I think they put it in in that order because the um like the, the saga of Becky was just completely uh, outside of, of the developers mm. and including that name it was very clever it's a very good it's very well made yeah yeah the guys clever as the other thing i learned with the factory carts and i meant this is this is what i was going to say this is um this goes back to um things you learn you know off people and and stuff and i never realized with a factory cart that When you hop in it, no, E, not F. So you can hop in it. If you left click, your arm comes out and puts a little siren on. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and I never knew that. All these hundreds of hours I have played. And and the thing is that it's it's better because after that, that window doesn't ever close again. Yeah. So it's it's. <laughs> It's just insane. It keeps popping about. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> it's so good. It's just an absolutely mental. And I never knew that. All the t but hours. And this is why I said to Tack, I love watching other people. It doesn't matter how new or old they are playing because the, you pick up things. And it's just like... And I saw that on someone fairly new playing the game and I was like, what? <laughs> how do they know about it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and there was some crazy stuff going on yesterday um, on uh, one of Pod's streams if you didn't get to see it and I, this is another thing I didn't realise here's another little tip for anybody watching in chat it's another crazy one of those crazy moment things um, so you put a pillar and then from your logistics you get a conveyor oh no hang on a minute let me do one more i think we need one more coming out towards us like that there you go to logistics get a whole thing now this thing here crazy but you can rotate it on the end of a pillar So, Pop, Pop basically ended up making a whole load of these in a big circle, and it looked like a turbine engine. It was, it was just insane. Oh and then, yeah, yeah. And then I had the crazy, crazy idea of saying to him, "Hey, we could, you could stick a light in the middle," and it just went AWOL after that. The whole stream because it was just like it just got what more insane. What happens if you now connect a belt to it when it's upside down? 
I don't know, that's what I was just thinking, because he didn't try that you yesterday. Have two of them upside down and go uh, have a belt from one to the other. What I'm going to do is see if I can do a... This is new to me as well. It's probably too close. So maybe I need to... Well, you, uh, need, you need a second pillar, but... Yeah. Let me just... What are you planning to do? Are oh, you making a circle? <laughs> yeah. Why not? You can use a large pillar. Um, yeah, hang on a minute. What I want to do... The conveyor oh, belt is too steep. What? <laughs> oh yeah. no shit, Sherlock! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is... This is what ends up happening. Is you just end up... Being a NASA basically on satisfactory trying to break it as much as possible. Don't ask me to do this one 50 meters underwater. I wonder what it would look like underwater now that you mention it. <laughs> Don't you start. Because <laughs> you know what will happen. It doesn't look like it attaches. The conveyor belt's too steep. Okay, so let's try a little less steep. See how far this will go. Okay, that's gonna do it. Uh, it doesn't work. It does a weird. It's a shame, though, isn't it? You could do quite a nice design like that, though. If you think about it, you could actually set up like. Get rid of the auto save. Come on. You could do a whole repeat rows of them like that. Just hot, wavy. Kind of looks like a quirky smile, doesn't it? <laughs> like an turn. eyebrow. Yeah, or an eyebrow. Yeah. I'll leave that there. We're going to play with that later on. <laughs> No, you could. Um, it, it would be like a fun park ride if you make it a, a level five one and you s sit on it. And it goes. Whoa. <laughs> you would be yeah. bouncing around on it. But this is actually a method. If you have longer uh, belts that descend down a slope, this is a method to eliminate the annoying um, bits where they have. To want to go horizontal for it, just to connect to the pole. Mm. Possibly. I don't know, we'd have to try it. I used to do um crazy setup with uh some belt welding to to get that get that done. This is a much easier way. Because I hate the uh, that drop that happens steps and I don't understand why they don't I'm hoping in 1.0 they give us the option like they do with the pipes where you can tilt the pipe angle with your middle mouse you know and I'm hoping they did would do the same with the um, conveyor pole and they don't there's just mm. and it's a real pain you have this yeah, it may be a way of, I'll have to play with that on an actual slope, make a mock slope and see if I can uh, get it to work, and then I can stick, stick it on a video. Right, power lines. I know the power lines are temporary for the moment, but I just want to see roughly what I've done with them. Right, okay, I've made them opposite the uh, actual things. Eventually I want the power all underneath, so pretty much you won't see it until the last minute. Right. Um, the, um, 
Jim call it the uh, pipes are done. Awesome. So you enable the pumps, they should um, start powering this second line of those, this west line of uh, coal plant coal generators, because they're ready to go. Are they? Okay, cool. Um, I will link these up then and get a line slung across to the other one, and then we can test that and see if it's working. There you go. I believe that is plugged in now. Water should start appearing soon. Right. Given one of the sections uh, indicators. I do love the sound of the water extractors. from this end one. So the west row has um, has coal and the east row has water. This is uh, great planning. <laughs> there was no Excellent planning, work. you know that. I yeah. actually did not plan this one at all. It was literally just, I started building. It was like, the first thing I actually built was the end um, arc of the tunnel down the very end here with the blue line. That was mm -hmm. the first thing I built. I just had this uh, here, this thing. That was the first thing I built. And I sort of built it and didn't even have these bits on the top. And I was just like, hmm, okay, that's interesting. Where do we go from here? And <laughs> And then I basically put down a thing down the middle, measured out, and, and realised I could get my coal generators underneath okay. So I was like, okay, let's just keep building. And that's how that happened. So there was no planning. It literally was just... Ah, welcome back, Foddy. How you doing, mate? There goes the neighbourhood. <laughs> Why is that one not working? Why, why, why? You may have just cut off a power line. Hold on. Yep, we have no power. Just... How Houston. about now? Yep, we do. Good. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> oh, but I see water incoming here, and there's some green lights down at the end of the line, so we're producing. They need to be overclocked as well, I'll have to get the um, shards into them. Oh, right. Um, I've just got to take this cable here, around to the other side. Do you have a stack of them? Yep. You yeah, I've got, or something? I've got a couple of hundred. know where you're at. I see. Um, it's probably best that we're on a platform when I drop them, not on water. Yep. <laughs> oh, you have a fast flight method. <laughs> I am... Uh, wait for me. Alright. See how you go with a hundred. Let me know if you need more. There's 40 of them, uh, I need 120, and this is 118. Ah, oh, okay, on then. Oh. Beautiful. What am I doing? 
Come on. There you go. There's another 23 or something down there. Perfect. How dare he? <laughs> Got made a burger for my dinner. It's great. Yeah. It's really funny because when I had got the post trauma from the earthquakes and stuff, and for the following few years, I was all over the show, uh, show health wise basically because I didn't know what was wrong. And then basically, we found out that I had that the post trauma triggered celiac and um, some other stuff. So my diet had to change considerably. And after several trips to the hospital trying to work out what was wrong and they couldn't work it out but anyway we got help and managed to sort it but um, the thing then you, you find you suddenly miss you know certain foods and over time of course you just get to the point where you, you do, it doesn't bother you anymore basically it's just like oh yeah whatever and mm -hmm. um, but my wife has been absolutely fantastic because a lot of the stuff that I used to have she has developed recipes to make gluten dairy free versions and she does these fantastic burgers um, which are way healthier than anything you can obviously buy in the shops um, and much tastier so yeah nothing quite like a good burger mate always ends up tasting a lot better too if you do it the right way, but yep. go for real food. Yep. Right, I think, I think, I think, I think we have lights. There are no reds. There's light. So that's that. We are okay for power. Yes, plenty of power, which is good. So just so you know, roughly when we've got all of the generators going, there's going to be about 14,000, I think, megawatts produced from these 80 generators. I think that's the way it works. Sweet, that's all going good. Should do 187 half each. 187.5 times 80. Yeah. What does that work out? 15,000 exactly. Yeah, there we are. I knew it was around there roughly. <laughs> it's the, um, the one, uh, another one of those features where you can just in game uh, calculator is awesome. Yes, in the actual. Uh, and it's you can do it in the machine as well, which is. The cool thing. Machine? Yeah, where you got oh, your yeah. target well, megawatts well, yeah. or your clock speed, you can type in. So if I wanted an exact percentage, yeah. I could just type in the number divided by such and such and it will work it out and so yeah. one over three you get an actual third instead of yeah. thirty. Yeah, it's really cool. We've got a few water issues still at the moment. It'll take a while probably to come through. You can be excused, just take too long. <laughs> the water's up and running, but it's just uh, going to take a while to come through. When you plan for 600 in each pipe, it's always going to be a struggle to get it. Yeah, I, uh, as working. you know, I've not done that. We've, we've allowed for only four generators per pipe, so... Which gives us so all of them overclocked. Yep, all overclocked fully. Yep. Oh no, they're done. Ah, cool, awesome. This side here. This is the old setup. These generators need to be deleted, don't they? On the end here. Oh, at uh, the very end, I think. Yeah. I think there's a few that are not. Yep, yeah, those still need to be deleted. Yeah. Let me replace those as well. Okay. 
can stick in the back um, battery areas. Do you want the battery areas in first before we uh, did the underneath? Because I know last time you were doing the underneath, but you don't. We can put the batteries in, can't we? Sorry? You know, the battery setup I put on the back, the rest of that can mm -hmm. go in, can't it? Oh, yeah. Awesome. <clears throat> oh, the leg. Did anyone watch the video from Coffee Stain that was posted today yet? Yes. Yep. Um, that was... I didn't actually get to the end. I got called away um, on real life stuff and had to go to the shops for my wife, basically. So I didn't catch all of it, but I got 90% of it. Oh, I see. That's not right. Yeah. Have you watched it, Lag? Hello, mate. Poster check. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, we need that. Welcome in. Thank you for popping by. haven't got to it yet yeah it's it's an interesting one I think until until they actually release 1.0 I think we're not really going to know how good or indifferent uh, the release is going to be it's I think the problem is is a lot of us have been really pumped up to get it and like with anything if you over pump something sometimes it can then seem a disappointment even though it's technically not and that's why I'm trying to not get too excited about what may or may not be in it because I don't want to kill it um, in the respects of I, I love this game and I just think it's I'm just cautious because I know that there's been in past games so much hype surrounding something and then it's come out and it's like oh um, and I just don't want that to happen with the 1.0 um, so I'm trying to not get my expectations too high. I'm just hoping they've sorted a few things out, like minor uh, threes, pipes, and we've got the storyline with a few additional uh, couple of phases or something extra, basically, to do with the Sam War and stuff like that. Beyond that, I have no expectation. Thank you, um, Billion. We're trying our best to um, make it as ridiculous as possible. <laughs> I've still got half the dome to finish. I don't know when you came in and stuff, but the key problem with this dome is that the uh, it's a vanilla build, but the um, pivot point, as you can see there, is 50 meters underwater. So finding that point is um, sometimes challenging. There it is. 
and that's how I've been and building it. Finding that point has to be done indivi uh, for each individual beam in the whole structure. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a huge amount of work. So I've just been chipping away at it. But I'm pleased with the result overall. And it's a bit blingy. I but... wish, I wish <laughs> you'd, have, you'd have decided that it looks it looks terrible or like... 10% in and just <laughs> decided, no, let's build a square box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Square box is I really suppose, hard. I suppose the, uh, the the proper time to decide to go for a square box is, is when the whole thing is done. Not now. Yeah, and I, I, I actually find square boxes difficult. Which sounds kind of weird, but I mean, I don't mean like a square box is difficult, but I mean, it's challenging to make it look great. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, and my skills don't yet go to that point. I'm still struggling with things that look cool, but are just painstakingly time consuming to do, but they're easier to make look good. I know that sounds weird, but... So, have we got that linked? I didn't pick it up, did I? That's alright, mate. You can look whenever you want. You feel free. very happy for people just to do whatever they want to do. Chill out and blob if you want to chat, chat. If you want to talk about other stuff, talk about other stuff. Not a problem. I'll censor myself. <laughs> yeah. You behave. <laughs> oh, behave. Exactly. <laughs> what? Like the, uh, uh, those are some tight pants. How do you get into them? <laughs> you know it? No. From Austin Powers in one of the oh, Austin movies. Powers. Right? Yeah. Yep. This hey baby, I got some tight pants. How do you get into them? She answers like, "Oh, you can start by buying me a drink." <laughs> that. Awesome. Right. And jokes like that are why I have to stay on Twitch here. Which has a better PC police, huh? Well, yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> yeah, my human's kind of not that way inclined, it's more, I don't know, it's more sort of Monty Python and sort of off on a rail, different. Fair enough. But, yeah, each to their own. I mean, I just, I just like the word play, the word play. Yeah. That I'm going to have to build this um, platform out a little bit, aren't I? So are you familiar with uh, Mitchell and Webb? No. If, you, if you're into Monty Python, then I'll type it out as well. It's just too damn good. But um, they 
uh, Mitchell and Webb. The, these these guys, if you look, that's going to be like a week worth of eye splitting YouTube. Like this, this is too good. Well, that would get me three work then. <laughs> This I don't know if you know the. Uh, you, you might you might actually um, recognize them once you see them. I might, yeah. Because they have they've done a lot of iconic stuff. Like, are we the baddies? You know, it's like... some stuff I've watched, but I don't. I actually don't watch a huge amount of stuff, to be honest. I um, I do a bit of gaming, obviously, as a hobby, and um, but my main interest, as you know, is art. So that sort of takes predominant place um, so I actually don't get to watch a huge amount to be honest just purely because of um, you know me concentrating on other projects hello there bad dog thank you mate ah yes the twitch dodge the bass player awesome yeah, guys, if you uh, want to check out some music channel, um, this guy also plays Satisfactory on the side as well. and uh, But he does some very nice um, bass playing. So uh, do check him out as well. Welcome. Welcome, mate. Thank you for popping in. Popping in and saying hi. Awesome. going to end up. I've got to work out a way to finish this sort of on the ends. I haven't sort of got there yet in my head. That's another one of those design to-do lists. Question. <laughs> it will be happening. It was like uh, one of my best paintings I've ever done um, was it was a commission basically it was uh, there was this guy who was an ex-banker from London who uh, was from Yorkshire and he had bought basically half a hill up in Yorkshire and a derelict farmhouse and I really liked this guy he was he was really he was the one person I've had who commissioned artwork who understood um, the, the process and the being an artist and he he basically what he he'd spotted one of my works in a window in a gallery in uh, Eton and um, he then basically got the dealer to ring me up on the spot and say would I go up to Yorkshire and um, basically set out uh, for a, uh, a commission so we went up there and we did sketches and, and whatnot and, and stuff for him to just get the composition sort of marked out and whatnot. And I said to him, you know, what size do you want this and so what sort of what colour scheme roughly do you want in it sort of thing and, and stuff as your predominant colours. Because that was the normal standard thing that clients would do is say, oh, I want this and I want it predominantly red or I want it predominantly green or whatever, which I used to hate. And... <laughs> He just looked at me and, uh, and it totally saw almost blank. And he said, well, you're the artist. You decide what size and what colors. Yeah. And I looked at him and I smiled and just said, thank you, sir. I said, you're the first person who's actually understood how to do a commission properly. <laughs> <laughs> and he just smiled and grinned yeah. at me and said, um, get on with it. I said, well, when do you need it by? And he said, you're the artist. So I said, thank you very much. So anyway, this I started this painting and I got about a month in and, and basically it, it was just not going right. It was like it just turned into this thing where it just the, it, the whole thing was not right and I couldn't do it. So I just turned it around, faced it towards the studio wall and left it there. Nine months went by. <laughs> Nine months went by and he rang me up. And he said, uh, oh, how's it going? So I said, oh, yep, it's going. Uh, <laughs> yeah. like, started to come out at a cold sweat. And um, and he was like, um, 
he said look he said i know i don't want to put you under pressure he said it's september now isn't it and i said yeah and he said um he said is there any chance we could have it by christmas time so i said to him well yeah hopefully um i'll try and get it done by christmas for you then so i came off the phone and i said to my wife i was like oh man that's a, that's not good anyway i left it there for another six weeks it was facing the wall so we're now into mid um october sort of november time and um and i woke up one morning and i just said to my wife i said i'll come back for breakfast i said in a couple of hours i said i'm just going to go and finish that painting and i don't know what it was that morning i just woke up and felt this is the moment and i literally walked into the studio and two hours later the painting was finished and it's still to this day is technically one of my best works i've ever produced 30 years later because yeah. it was allowed to sit there for 10 months yeah and it's just like i tend to do the same thing on builds on satisfactory i sometimes will aband <laughs> abandon a build and just leave it and turn my back on it and then i'll just literally one day turn around and go back to it and say right it's going to finish today I don't know Done why. With you. I don't know why yeah. it, it works that way, but it just does. I don't necessarily have it with builds, but with the game as a whole, absolutely. that a second time I don't know but pretty generous of him to stay off your back for that long <laughs> oh yeah no he's he was a cool guy he commissioned another one after that as well even bigger one um, very nice guy he was actually to know. I've got careful to not to say his name but, <laughs> but yeah no he's He's one of the few bankers I've actually liked. They exist. <laughs> it's a, a deal. Let's just put it that way. Right, this needs to come out for the moment. I've got to sort resort this out. Because that was from the old design when we had the hypertubes rather than the railway station. I don't know where you're at. Let me have a look. I have your actual stream on, on the other monitor, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah that, that stuff has got to come out, and we also need to... ...basically make a blueprint for the for the walkway underneath, for the for the structural part of the... like the floor. Oh, uh, yeah. I am way back at the other end. Yep. You mind if I rip out a bunch of flooring on this side? What? No. <laughs> Should be fine, mate. I trust you enough, but I'll come and have a look what you're talking about because I don't know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, it's, it's gone. Dave Mitchell was pretty much all over BBC TV. Okay. Yeah, he's 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 all over. And then um, the other guy, like they started off as a as a comedy duo in the like twenty years ago or something like that. Mm -hmm. They um, they also produced the Peep Show, and if you like cringe comedy, it's it's that's peak cringe comedy. It's beautiful. Right, which flooring are you talking about? <laughs> uh, the flooring that I took out here underneath the pipes uh, where I'm floating. It's all gone. So how are the pipes being held up? Hmm? Are we going um, to produce a beam out? We could do a beam, I suppose. No, no, no. I don't know, but I, 
uh, it, it, there was um, a bunch of these um, uh, conveyor lifts with a whole bunch of extra stuff and it's very difficult to get them all out. I, I don't mean this floor gone as in this is how it's supposed to look, but just uh, just to be able to build the new stuff. Oh, okay. Out with the old, in with the new. I haven't decided on new yet. I'm Doing just the uh, conveyor conveyor belts now. Just wondering whether we could do something a bit different anyway. So let's have a look. See if we could. Now, just for a joke, should I leave this with a sign here for Manti? With a gap, yep. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Mind the gap. That was so beautiful. It was just really funny. Do the same logo, see if he notices. Yeah. For chat, if you're watching this, this this was um, on Mantis's um, stream he did yesterday, or it, in fact it was I think about a week ago he'd done a stream and and it, <laughs> and basically he's, he's done this really cool design basically where he's doing his big storage system stuff and it's curving around the landscape with the lake. It's up at the Greater Lakes basically on the map, and and it looks really awesome. And he's he's done it, but the way he'd done his flooring, as he, as he went around, he took it around this other alternative bend to get to the second curve. And the the flooring left this tiny little gap in the corner, which was just infuriating. And I can't remember was it was it you extra that actually said to him stick a sign on it, or was it me? I can't no, remember. No, I think it was I think it was uh, either you or Maker or I don't know who was oh, it. It was funny, but one of us just stuck it. Basically, said, stick aside or say wide the gap. So he's got this face palm sign you think, done with this color, just like this, lying on the floor you to think, cover up the hole. <laughs> Brilliant. You think this this is offset from the from the center enough to to be like completely triggering? <laughs> <laughs> Or should we just like give it an extra bit of offset like this, so that if you try to repair it, it's going to be even harder? Yeah, and we can do. Let's do something else here, just for just for Manti. I just mind the gap. Yep. There we go. Serves him right for not joining the stream today. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. No, I was seriously on a serious on a serious note though, I was thinking and maybe I could play around with pillars down here and do something. Sure. So, I mean it's a, it's a great place to sort of break the design a bit yeah so leave it bare for the moment and I'll come back to it um, sure. Robert Webb not sure what he does now mm -hmm. I'll check them out anyway I think uh, he um, he does movies, so he's like um, a bunch of those as well. But. All right, see if 
we get some more green lights in a bit. Second half of this row. Green lights are good. White lights are even better. Why? <laughs> Did you just get hit by the train again? Just had a Jeremy Clarkson moment where I had a yell power because power. <laughs> Yep, um, I'm dumb. I didn't put in the belts yet. <laughs> I did some of the belt work on this um, left hand side looking at, uh, right hand side looking at the dome. Um, but Did I had. East or west? Yeah, east. But I haven't got around yeah. to um, finishing it by any means. Please. Pretty much done by now. Ba -boom. How often was that? It was everyone. Okay. Is that one away? Mm. Yep, belts are done. Awesome. What are we missing on this side? No, we are missing coal still. Oh no, they're coming in slowly. That's cool. I've got some coal on me, so I'll dump it in just to help these end ones. I also need to actually connect them to the power grid. Otherwise, it's going to sit there idle. Oh, yeah. These last few batteries are sticking by hand. Just for the sake of the four. I've done that one around the wrong way. Like a total noob. For the sake of the four, so they are forsaken? It could be. <laughs> they might be if they don't perform properly. <laughs> uh, so we take that one to there. That one there. That one to there. That one to there. That one to there, that one to there, that one to there. Is that right? Yes. Then we take. Well, okay. let's say full row of green lights here. Yep. It should be white for you, but I don't think that works in multiplayer. Oh, really? Uh, what's going on here? Oh, Rats, okay. Yep, forget that. Let's see what I've done. What have you done? I didn't put the pillar up with the uh, reversed um, wall mount with the sign for the power on those four batteries, but that's okay. We can. Um, it's not that it's multiplayer, I haven't put in shards on these um, generators yet. That's why they're green, not white. Haven't you? No. Oh, I see. I actually took a three day break off Satisfactory just so I didn't burn out on this build. Hmm. I've been playing a lot of Brotato. Don't know it. I went and played Space Engineers again for the first time in about 18 months and totally forgotten how to play. <laughs> That was an interesting learning curve for the first couple of hours. It's like, oh yeah, your ships do blow up very quickly. <laughs> right. This is going to test out the train now and the coal delivery system. Oh, we have one green light down there. What's going on with the green light? Let's have a little look. Started at a pretty random place to yeah. 
It's gone wide. Sorry, I think, okay. it I, I think I just just I think we were at the same call plant. Ah, uh, okay, cool. All right, but they're all still green for me, so I think um, it's up to you to for light. Yep, no, they're all white to me now. All white. Good. All right. All white. <laughs> 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 it was very English school Perfect. days. Very, very good. Yep. Back to my misspent youth. You can see that some of the um, water pipes are empty, but that's. Is that a graphical glitch? No. No. It's a reality. The, um, yep, on the west side. Ooh. Some of the pipes are. Not delivering. That's not good enough, is it? <laughs> um, let's have a little look at this. A second. How are we going to do this? This is going to be interesting. That goes to there. I can't add a third. That's frustrating. I'll have to take that one, I think, to that hole for the moment as my temporary line back to the mines. Get rid of that one. Oh dear. Oh, yeah, yeah, you keep clicking on the wrong thing. So that's that. Okay, that's at least all linked through here so that's all part of the same power supply which is cool we've got a nice straight stable line which is good and we've got 12,000 megawatts at the moment coming off the coal plant so we're getting close we are getting close guys Why is <laughs> did we did we not put in the underneath of all these generators on the um, west side? What underneath? Oh yeah 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 yeah. Oh, there's nothing there. No. No, there's nothing there. There's a, and th that's what I meant. We we need the, the the blueprint for the structural part. Ah, right. Got you. Because I was looking at it, thinking, because the other side. What did we do on the other side? That was an old blueprint, wasn't it? Or not? Yeah, it was an old blueprint, and I tore out most of it. Yeah. Some of it, but it's yeah. There's okay, some of it's still there. Some of it's gone. So. Yeah, uh, basically we need some decisions on, on that, and that's what I mean with the, the structural part of the... Right, let me put Blueprint Maker back up and then we can have a look at what's going on. So I can find out what I'm meant to be. Good grief. Come on, BK, get your head together. the feed one which is my old one and we can delete the stuff off that we don't need which is namely the um, the lifters so we've just got the floor foundations effectively And we need to change the underneath lights to that orange colour, not the blue. That was the other thing. Ok, 
because all of these are wrong. There's a man under the tunnel. Let's see, control V, control V, control V. I do like the glow of that underneath. The uh, yellowish glow. Yeah. Sweet. And then, um, what else? Anything else has got to change? So that was that. See the. Pattern I applied in part of the part of this tunnel. Say that again, sir. I applied a bit of a pattern in uh, part of the tunnel. Basically, if you walk down to where, uh, right in the middle, where Maker is sitting. Oh, yep. Yeah. Have that uh, little staircase. Oh sweet, yep. Looks like um drainage systems any liquid. Yep. Little grills on the side, that's awesome. Yeah, it works well. We'll have to work out what to do with this clipping, might need to remove that one floor piece. Oh no, we've um on this side is, there's no floor pieces. I think it's even better without the floor pieces, where you can just yeah you, you feel like the walkway is slightly raised, so we just can rip out the entire flooring. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I was just, just leave the. Um, I was just doing my OCD and. <laughs> oh yeah, the clipping is. Uh, yeah, it's like. Whoa. But but. <laughs> equally, the clipping here for this little staircase is fine. Yes. Where it just goes up one and then down. <laughs> <laughs> I know, there's an irony to it. <laughs> so I'm just trying to see what's different from this side to that side we've got. Just to finish that off a bit. I'll have to work out something on this end, definitely to uh, conclude the sort of build somewhere off there. The very end. Yeah. This is this is where projects that I do usually just grind to a halt, where I go like, okay, so this is all cool. Now I need to do. Like the last bit, and it needs to be something that fits with everything, and I keep fiddling with it, and I keep fiddling with it, and it never ends. Yeah. We'll get there. It's all yep. part of the challenge. So, do you want to have a look at this blueprint, see if that's what you were thinking? In terms uh, oh, you have one. Yeah, I've, I've just ripped out. Um, some of the stuff basically. Where is it? Where is it? Did you hide the blueprint? Machine? Oh, sorry, it's at the um, at the uh, northern forest end, not the sea yeah, end. Just... Hmm. On my way, gonna take a bit. Yep, no worries. We will just admire the view. Huh. It's looking pretty nutty.
Right, made it. Oh. Power. Light. Alright. Yeah, this is the one. But um the we don't need the um uh, the belts anymore because they're done. Right. So the these splitters can come out. The belts and splitters can come up. The smart splitters that were there. Yep. Heretic. And um these blocks for the floor is also the part that could come out and we can put the yeah, 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 yeah. Do we need those to start with to set up the other ones or not? Or are they already done? Ones? So we can we can delete these out, can we? The floors? Uh these floors, yeah. I I mean it might be best to build a blueprint with everything, then rip everything out and then build the whole thing again. Might be a better outcome than trying to do because look here, the billboards are misaligned. Yeah, I just saw that. I was like, what's going on there? Another BK cock up. Oh, they're also upside down. That's great. Ah, uh, yeah, Beautiful. it does that a lot on me. I hate it. I'm hoping that's another thing they'll sort out for 1.0. If they make them zoopable, I'm uh, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's a word now. So. Zoopable. Yep. Think, um, because we have how many? Foundations in between every time. How many? And then there's the foundations around the ring where we want one of these entrances, right? Mm hmm. I think those we oh, have to put out, out later, though, if you know what I mean. We have to dig them out. One, two, three, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, if we, if we have. Uh, two of these, two of these, um, so to speak, simple blueprints where we just do straightforward. Then there's, then we have eight, and if we have a blueprint with the stairs that is three wide, we can just put two of these and then one stairs, and then two of these and one one of the, with the stairs. Fill the whole thing. What we need to do is because it's a mirror image, we have to work out. Um, where It'll be that's... identical on either side. Yeah, so it because it won't be the same if we just use the same blueprint and turn it around because it will be on the opposite. It will be. End, will it? I thought it'd be, it'll be on, fine. on on the opposite side. Um, mm. doo -doo -doo. The one thing that's that is not symmetrical at this point is that glass floor. Right. Which is a great design feature, but um, I mean, we can put it somewhere in the middle, so get it more to be more um, symmetrical. Well, originally the um, the belts were under there, or were going to be under there, so we could see them. But then we shifted it. That's why the glass sort of changed. But if we do that, we've got to change all of this other side then. <laughs> do you get what I mean? <laughs> like so. Then we'll just have two. Okay, so I, I I switched it around a bit. Yep. What we'll have to this do will though, end up if we do that though, we'll have to change these ones down here. 
I don't I don't see you. Sorry, Sorry but on the um, other belts, the ones that are already laid in, we're going to have to change those to match them, aren't we? I think I think it's best to rip it all out, put in the new stuff. Right. Okay. I think it's I think it's much easier to just rip it all out and put in put it in again than to try to reserve two or three foundations that are in the right place and then. Yeah. Make sense. Hmm, we have a coal problem. I think. Let's have a little look. Yeah. Because it's I loaded it up with a hundred and it's down to forty four at the moment, but it is sort of slowly creeping back up again. But I'm wondering if that's just between burns. Gonna have to keep an eye on that because. Um, and which which um, plant is it that you're monitoring? These very, very last ones. Yeah, the very end ones, the last. Well, be uh, because it is a manifold and it is perfectly um, calculated. So if I top them back going up to, to 100, we can have a look. Going to never get, to get up to 100, hopefully. Because if it does, that means that somewhere else down the line, another one is not using. <laughs> yeah, well, I filled them up with 100 to start with. Um, okay. And that's what I'm saying is it's gone down to about 40 odd. So I'm wondering if there's a problem somewhere over time. Right. I'll yeah. leave it running for a couple of hours later and see, just check it out. Yeah, yeah. worth having a look. But it, it always takes a bit to for the for the whole setup to balance out. Yeah. It might have been worthwhile actually um, shutting off some of the generators and letting it literally fill up all the line. I might do that later, we'll, we'll wait and see. So, okay, so we've got one blueprint here, so let me save this one. And we will do this as coal gen base. One question. Yep. Why is one of the sides up raised up by one? Why this hole? Where are you? Uh, here. Yeah. Why do we not have just to fill this bit up as well? Because my original, this is part of my original idea. My original idea was to, in fact, have a sign. Oh, okay. And I was going to have. I was going to have that on. Pretty good. Yeah, I was going to have that on a soft glow, so it actually glowed up underneath the cauldrons. Do you think it'd be too much? Because that's, oh, that's that pretty was, good. That was the original design, but I just hadn't got around to doing it, and I forgot to put it in, and I was like, uh, maybe it's going to be too much in the end. I think I, I, I like it. Let me get the color off the other sign. Because um, the whole thing is already very glowy, right? But the, the actual part that is producing power now bit dark so yeah. yeah that could work out trophy okay. let's keep it quite low and see what happens I'll get rid of the writing Boom. Okay, let's put a generator. Where are we? Power coal generator. I can't stick it on top, can I? Because it's too high on the blueprint now. You know the geode effect that you put in? It works all the way from here. Yes. Right. Yep. I know. 
the little sprinkle of the dots at the end dome geo once the whole dome's done it looked really pretty it was one of the ideas was you know to create that whole thing because I did a bit of research on coal and, and what gemstones were found within it and yeah it was interesting and I love the way it, it sort of sparkles because of the way I set up the ceiling um, and it's such a simple design but it's like it just basically works That's that very good. Nice. Weird. Okay. Right, I'm going to on the to go into the west side of things and just rip out all the parts that are going to be replaced by the blueprint. Okay. Right? Yep. So you know it makes sense. We'll have a bunch of floating generators, but we can handle that for the moment. <laughs> and go generator base and grid glass. Um, and I'll put sign as well on there so we know what we're dealing with. Say blueprint. This does not have to be the left side. Cauldron base or pipe lighting belt feed. No, can go. So let's come in. Let's change the color up a little bit. Let's go actually to the orangey color. Save blueprint. Overwrite it. Yes. have gone into here so we need to edit and move that into cold plant More changes right that blueprint should be under cold plant and it's got an orange background color to it now on the blueprint to differentiate cool. all right you have to start putting them yeah I'll see if I can put them in no. on this side. Uh, tell you what, we've got to rip out this other stuff first though, don't we? Sorry? I need to rip out this other sloped flooring first. Oh, the sloped flooring here on the front. Yeah. Yep go as well. But I might have removed one one row too many because I counted four but we got the flooring also. I did one. Those were just in you know, the blocks. Yeah, that's right. We've got a empty coal thing here line still to be used right. on this side, on the uh, west side. We have extra coal, that's why it's running low. If you just stop there and then see this. That's why. Um, this part, this bit. Yeah. It should be. Uh, no, that's. Oh, th those. Um, that's part of your old setup where oh, you it? had a belt coming all those way. Aye, aye, aye. To feed the first ones. <laughs> and I had priority splitters going. Uh, so, right, if so you follow this line back, you'll see that it has priority splitters. So everything that's not going through here should be on the train. Right. So. This technically, then this belt can come out. Yeah. Yeah. This belt is um, legacy. <laughs> yes. That goes all the way, so we're going to need. To, I'm just done doing some of what you've just done there, because we've got to get to it. Right. Okay. 
That's cool, and it goes to there. Sweet bananas. It's like looking at it thinking, what's going on here? It was so long ago though, I, can't, I lost touch with what I was doing. What am I looking at? Yeah. It's been a few weeks. Right, let's have a look. Right. So. I think. You have to come across one, is it? One. Ah. Yeah. That's it. Awesome. We'll work out how to finish all this stuff off a little after some point. I shall play, 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 play with that. It works. Yep, no, it's good. Which is exactly what we wanted. And it matches the other side. Or will do once we get the glass thing done. So one thing I'm not super stoked about is the positioning of the glass. Look through, so to speak. Not really a way to, to help it because Oh, that's why I didn't put it in in the end because I just I sort of looked at it and was like mm. we could just leave it out yep yeah, I reckon I reckon I wasn't I was impressed that's why I just left it and left it with a bit of a dip in there as well and I was quite happy with the dip as such because it doesn't really matter it, it's almost like a um, a drip well <laughs> if you know what I mean. No, I don't follow. <laughs> so, like, if if a machinery uh, leaks or something, they have a section which it drains down into. Okay. So you just left it open. Yeah. Okay. Not quite sure what you mean, but. Pretty sure you can do it in the blueprint. The other thing we could do is this. Uh, you, you don't want to do uh, the signs anymore? Oh, I thought we said they weren't working. Oh, there's different. Uh, it's a different bit. Hey, sorry, uh, I'm lost. Uh, I've misunderstood uh, what you're saying then. Okay, the glass look through the the glass floor. Oh, yep. Yeah. Was in here, and I've already ripped them out from this blueprint. But ah, uh, right, not the signs. Yeah, no, the signs are good. Oh, okay. I totally misunderstood, mate. Sorry, I told you my brain's a bit fried today. It's not at its sharpest, mate. No worries. Not today. Can't all be winners in it. In it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I heard recently that really uh, tickled me and my wife was I don't know whether you know the jazz singer Melody Gardo. Um, but she's got a beautiful voice, beautiful voice, and um, it was just so so funny because she was doing a live concert, and I think someone called out or said something in between songs or something in there, and then she just went back into uh, this real sort of like um, s Southern England, almost Berkshire sort of accent from where I was from, sort of possibly London, 
and she just totally took off the British accent absolutely superbly. It was just absolutely hilarious. The audience were in stitches. It was just brilliant because it was the last thing you'd expect from her, as a, you know, as a jazz singer and really sort of like somebody so sophisticated. And yes. then they they come in, they come in and just yeah, yeah. And she just took off the British thing so well with the sort of in it at the end and everything. It was just brilliant. <laughs> The, the thing is, though, like, if your voice is your instrument, that like, yeah, she can. That's do just with another it. thing you can, yeah. Right. So I've resaved that blueprint. Three million hundred times. <laughs> Back into coal plant. So that's sorted. Um, so are we keeping the glass bit or? Oh, I don't mind. We can take it out actually if you want. I mean, I I, I don't I don't mind either. But it's just that's what I was saying is the one thing that really gets to me a little bit is that it's kind of misaligned with the um, the coal lift inputs right yeah got you and there's no way to actually align it within the blueprint no there isn't so and its original purpose has changed anyway so doesn't matter because it was originally there to see I was going to originally run down the as I say the coal underneath so you get glimpses of it going through um, but of course we're not doing that now so it doesn't matter let me <laughs> re-put that back into the oh, no, no changes. there we are re-saved, no glass Should be able to stick that in then. Oh, somewhere around here. Oop. Couldn't see a thing then. It vanished. Are you trying to put it in the same place? Are we both pl I, trying to place it? I think we are. You go for it. <laughs> yeah, that might mess with things if we if we are. Yeah. Yeah, it should be close-ish. The foundation carries on. Don't forget. Oh, you're gonna make it. We're gonna make another one with the under stair. Yes, yep. pass right. Yep, got you. Now I see what you're doing. There's gonna be one that's three wide. With the uh, with the stairs, right. Mm. How's that going to work with the signs? Are we taking then the glowy sign out of this section? I guess we'll have to. Um, we can. Yeah, we can reposition the signs to be to extend just below the coal plant. Um, we'll play we'd have to end. just place place one by hand on each side. Yeah, yeah. So I was thinking, we'll just play it by ear and see what happens. Or maybe. Or. It is the curved one that comes out, isn't it? Yeah, it's the small billboards. If it's just the light, we can just get the small one. You know, the small ones will actually fit. So we can put two of the small ones in the um, okay, or one, the even. Hmm. No, two small ones don't don't fit, but we can make it fit in the uh, in the other blueprint, maybe. Maybe a bit of overlap. No, 
that's that one, and then There was somewhere nice where we could put um, a hyper tube, but yeah, <laughs> bit of train in there. <laughs> <laughs> we did have somewhere nice with hyper tubes, and then it got converted some, to the dark side of some trains. Yoko, some yoko put in a train now. <laughs> well, I knew it had to be done. It was it was going to happen. It was just. Win. Yeah. Basically, it just sped up the process, but it was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah, the sign comes out and the back piece. Right here. Ooh, gee. Something's not right here. Dum 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 dum. Very possible. Ah, oh, it's yeah. Today is not my brightest day. So Today is not brain day. No, it's not brain day today. It's definitely brain dead day today. Hey, well, I do not brain today. <laughs> the other ends are left behind. Okay, so, yes, right, okay. I'm gonna try and. Try and remember that. Bang! That's all eight of. of, of ten of those placed. Awesome mass. Go do the same on the opposite side. Two of these. Nope, this is wrong. We can start ripping wake, out. Wake up. How did I do I'm this? Start clearing the other side as well. Okay. Fundamentals of satisfactory building are making me lose my brain today. <laughs> Called it off, Pob. Poor Pob. That was quite amusing yesterday, though, Paul Trap. What? He was trying to get his 0.25 nudge, do you remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he was having a, a BK moment. <laughs> Sorry, no, I, uh, so I, I I haven't watched Pop on stream yet. So oh, you should do. Okay. He does some very experimental stuff, and... Um, yeah, and his builds are just... Out there. <laughs> yeah. I would love when I first met Pop. I said to him, mate, I said, if you're in New Zealand, I'd be begging you to basically work with us to do an art exhibition because um, I've still done that one. What is going through my head? Come on. Thank you. Um, yeah, because just of if if I could put some of the ideas I've got as artworks basically together with his technical skills, hmm. yeah, 
would be awesome. I watched it lag, no giant crab monster. No. No, they've they're doing denying us of crab Rip monsters. giant crab monster. Yeah. That, that was like uh, th that's been made clear like ages ago, but still. Yeah. The, the one thing he didn't deny is golf. <laughs> <laughs> the standing ongoing joke of golf. I don't even know how it started or why people want golf so badly. No, but <laughs> it was funny. I think it was because him and Jace used to play golf, didn't they? Or pretend to. They used to go out and be on a golf course. No, and stuff. was it before? No, that, that was that was before that. They oh, they actually no. went to a golf course to do one of the release videos because, because people were. We're uh, memeing about golf, but <laughs> love it, love it. Yep, they're funny guys. They work so well together. It's a shame Jace went in some ways. I mean, I understand why yeah. he went on his own to do his own thing, of course. Because yeah, I don't, I don't begrudge him for that. No, but it, he was, he was a great community he manager. He gave the whole thing a lot of uh, of identity. Yeah. Okay, I think I've done the second one with the opening now for the stairs. Okay. Do you want to come and double, triple check that your design for that was correct? Go have a look. Yeah. Side is open now, so completely barren. That's pretty much it, I think. Um. We don't even need that um, bit where it goes further to the back, but. Yeah, no, I quite like that as a little landing thing though. What I should have done here was this should be actually uh, probably a double like that so you can actually still walk under it. Hold up, hold up. I have another thing that to be done. Come on, come on. <laughs> it's centrally positioned. Like that. Uh, two, yeah. Yeah. Got a bit of Z fighting there. Yeah. Ooh. Can't be helped. Might have to get infinite nudge out for that later. What we could do for um, to fight the Z fighting is mm -hmm. actually um, have the catwalks just be on this grid, just manually just soup it all the way over. Yeah, that works. They will connect that way, so that's better. Yeah. Yeah, that's way better. Just leave it like this, and then we'll manually fix it. Yep. Fix it in post. Fuck it, we'll do it live. <laughs> that could actually... It's have it. <laughs> you could... Um... No, it doesn't. Okay. Because it's snapping to that point. Yep. No, okay, let me save that then as uh, cold base... Cold gen base with stairs. 
hold up, hold up. Because we still need to do the under lighting. Ooh. The drip. I'll save it anyway and then we can just resave it. Yeah, we could have an yep. Um do 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 so that be that thing. And then that floor that uh, that light you place it like that quickly. You also use a Just do it like that. <laughs> do it the cheat way. Like what? That's all right. Oh, uh, yep. I see what you're doing with the signs. Can you even just copy them from below? Do you place them like that? Control. Seriously, you can just place it flat yep. with control. That's a new thing. Uh, I've been. <laughs> That's why I say it doesn't matter how many hours you've played this game. There's always something you end up oh. learning off someone it's else. It's ah. Oh. This is quite painful. You know how many times I've been <laughs> messing around with these beams. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Now, do we take out this metal pillar here to stop the Z fighting? The, no, we don't take it out, but we can do something Cause more done, with it. Because we've done that with all the others on the ends they stop one before oh okay okay in that, in that case yeah so it sort of matches the design I was thinking we could we could um, extend the edge like this maybe even have the not have that floor at all yeah it could do have to um very confusing building <laughs> like this. Yeah. it's entertaining <laughs> uh if you wanted to move it over by one we can do that yeah i was wondering Up whether there. we could get a vertic this in vertically yeah Do it from the other side as well. Easy. Super stoked about this. I like the idea of it. Yeah, but I'm just wondering if. Um too square. Yeah. Just um, see what else we have. Oh, yeah, I got it. I'm just gonna do something. Yep. Just. I mean, could make me. it round, of course, but. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna.
think there. Hmm. We could always just do that. There's a simple solution. This. <laughs> Hypertube. <laughs> And we can remove the actual supports. We have a sort of golden pillar. <laughs> it looks weird. <laughs> and it's clipping. You can have much. this. You have this at the right length, where it just it, it basically just it, it's just the corner. Mm. Just you know, I put it like this just for the idea, but so it would it would look like here uh, is basically like the um, almost the what's it called the uh, in in concrete you have the the rebar in the middle. Yeah, the rebar. Yep. Look like golden rebar. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can get. Okay, I can finish the look for it. Let me see if I can get it. To, what I, what I have in my head. That's a worry. <laughs> Sorry? I said that's a worry. <laughs> yeah. That looks good, right? <laughs> Worky. Needs to be lowered just a bit. Yeah, needs to go the full length. To go the full the full length, but I can I can make that work. But how do you finish off the hole at the top? Do you? Like, do we do we need to? We could have another sign for the Manti. <laughs> <laughs> Find the hypertube oh, hole. <laughs> mm. If you want to cap it off, there is always. <laughs> that mm. looks like a golden lampshade. <laughs> I'm not a hundred percent struck if I'm honest. I like the concept. I like the concept, but I'm not a hundred I don't think it works with the build. I don't know. Fair enough. We'll just We'll fudge it. <laughs> Some other one. I'll uh, I'll just uh, repurpose it for somewhere else. Yeah. Same. There's bound to be a point where we can use it somewhere. So. You can put it. Right. So we can still do this this way, can't we? 
simply won't fit in the if, blue. If we put a beam here, we need to put a sign as well for, for Manti not to hit his head. Yeah. No, well, it, it worked. Strike gold. Mind your head. It's got to be. <laughs> What colours? Background. Hey. An orange light. Let's try that. Let's try right. Maybe. I don't know. Mind your head. Do we put a background on it? Maybe. What I need to do is these little signs. Just trying something. Yeah, no, go for it. I always like a good bit of experimentation. It's a place a bit further back, so that they. fit the beam. Ah, uh, uh, yep. Needs yep. to go a li little bit further back. A little bit. You could actually have that going across and then have the um, chevron background as a warning behind the other sign. That could work. How much? Upside down. Uh, well, if we change that to um, layout, what we want is that select image. Are, are you changing the sign? That I yeah, I'll okay. change. I just want to try something here a second. Uh, that's not right. Let's try that one. Background. That. That's better. Removing the beam for a second so I can put the rest in. Yeah. Oops. That's what I was thinking. Oh. Yep. Same thought. That works alright, doesn't it? Perfect. Yep. This is perfect. Reflects, we're done here. <laughs> yep, we can go home now. <laughs> See you, everybody. We're off. <laughs> Our job is done. <laughs> it's been real. <laughs> uh, just a second. I need to re remove a stray beam that went into hiding. Uh, yep. Here we go. We gonna that was very satisfying. Are we going to take this beam on this side as well? Sorry? Like you've got on this side, these. Oh, right. Are we going to um, do that down here? I don't, I don't, I don't know we need them. I, 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 was, like, I was thinking of... I kind of yeah. like them. Thinking of just repeat, basically continuing the pattern that we had. Just to give it some depth, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Why we should carry it on, really, because um, I think that's the wrong. There we are. Is that right? No, I'm still cocked up, haven't I, on the um, 
but I need to do it from this end. No, you you need um foundation to place them on. So. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll do. That was the easier way of doing it. I was trying to be clever and that didn't work. <laughs> or get my life. Sometimes you just end up overthinking stuff and trying to. And it's like, oh, of course, there's a way simpler way of doing it. I have this 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 mantra for myself, and it's basically do the thing. Where, you know, you you want to for the for uh, to do what you're trying to do, you just need the screwdriver, which is upstairs, <laughs> and you don't want to walk up the stairs. Yeah. So. Because you're too lazy to walk up the stairs, you spend <laughs> yes. half an hour looking for that one knife or that one kitchen utensil that will try to maybe fit the screw. No, do the thing. Walk up the damn stairs, grab the screwdriver that you know is there, yeah. and just do it right. But <laughs> Seen that so many times. Now, a little question. This foundation piece that's in here, is this meant to be here or is this being pulled out? Was that just for setting up? Foundation piece? Yeah, underneath. There's a single one meter. Uh, oh, that was for setting up, yeah. Yeah. Cool. No, that's okay. Just want to check. Make sure we're all on How the about same this? page. Uh, the theme of oh, what a save, sorry. Woohoo! Well, there's a glow. Well, let's stick one in and see what it looks like, shall we? Save blueprint. Uh, yeah, just one thing, one thing. Mm -hmm. um, because all the signs are upside down. Yep. This one, the last ones that I just placed aren't. Yep. Which means that that moving pattern is not behaving. You mean it's going up the other way? Going the other way, so I'm going to... Is my signs also upside down? Wait. Well, I am in New Zealand. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why. <laughs> Did I tell you about that with the Zoom meeting I had in Britain? And I actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you just turned your camera I, upside down. I turned my camera upside down right from the start. Yeah. And I wish I would have been there. And they were so, like, oh, so why, why, why is your camera upside down? I said, oh, it's just the way it is when you do international stuff from New Zealand. I said, because oh, we're upside down. I said, our cameras are all, everything is upside down. I said, it's really frustrating. And <laughs> it took them about half an hour to cotton on that I was winding them up. I mean, if you, if you tell things like that with enough of a straight face, mm. nobody wants to be the one to stir the pot, especially if you tell it to like five people. They all, they're all just silent and they all just shut up about it. <laughs> it was only after like about 25 minutes or something I turned my camera back around the right, right way and they were like, oh, you were winding us up. And I, was like, <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> it was funny. They enjoyed it afterwards once they realised. But it was funny. But anyway. I'm off the shade really. Are we are we semi ready to try this? Semi, I almost. Yeah, okay, go ahead. It's good to go. Now, do we need a sign on the floor here, on each end, saying "mind the gap" because there will be a gap? Mm, on the floor here. <laughs> yeah. uh, there won't be because we're going to soup the. I know, uh, we're going to hand fill it in. Oh, what am I doing? We could do uh, mind your step and and actually build one of those air uh, uh, the um, airport um, horizontal belts. You know where the the yes. they have. Well, you could do that. You could actually put a belt. I did that on one of my yeah. builds earlier. Maps. Yeah, you can absolutely do that. Yeah, I put a belt in and had it as a um, like an airport with the long thing. Get it away. But the thing is, if you do that, you got to do that on all the blueprints. Mm. And it's going to be super annoying. Yeah. 
So for the moment, in this this factory, we will leave it off. But it will certainly will come in somewhere at some point. Because it always has. Right, let's get rid of this glass here. Get rid of these glass panels. Now the only problem that might occur is make a gamer's body may be in the way for this blueprint. Um, well, we'll just have to kill him. Yeah. So if that happens, we will. We'll just have to take him out with my ho homing <laughs> ammo. <laughs> humanely, humanely. <laughs> you, you did you, save the blueprint, right? Yeah. Yep. It's all under coal, coal plant. Let's see if we can get it in there. Is that working? Yeah. The only thing we've got to do is dip the belt down, isn't it? Um, yep. The other thing we've got to do is sort out these this back section. Oh, hang on a minute. What's going on here? We're missing something. What do you mean? Why are we doing... What's happened here? Hmm. <clears throat> Where are you? Um, same side as you, west side. If you, look at, oh. if you look at the back of the generator, We yep. Um, th this is what I said. I I removed one too many um, row rows of foundations, but the, the, these were just four meter foundations souped all the way through. So. That's part, is that part of the blueprint? Oh. I I miscalculated in how much I needed to remove. Uh, it's right. Okay. It was part of the other blueprint, the back rear blueprint. Got you. I see what's happened. That's all right. I just was trying to piece together in my head what had actually gone on because I was like, "Hey, that's not looking right." Yep, no, that's cool. And then I can paint those black. I thought for a minute we'd got our spacings wrong on the blooming um, blueprint. No, it, it's pretty cool if you if we put. Actually, leave this open so you can see the water here. Then put put some of these blue lights on the water. Yes, the one the frustration I have is the lighting doesn't really work properly underwater. Doesn't it? No. Some colours do, some colours don't. It depends. Oh yeah, I see it. It just sort of goes dark and doesn't shine. Yeah. Bummer. Yeah. It is coloured, but it doesn't shine. Yeah, yeah. It's not shiny. I want it to be shiny. shiny. How Mac about Dye. actual lights? Do lights shine underwater? Weirdest test ever, but for this sake. Just take it off the um, yeah, one of those wall mounts at the end. Really? Does the light work? No. No, not really. No. I don't I think it's just the mechanics of the way they've got the water. Yeah. Mm. It's fine. Ray tracing and all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's cool. That's looking all right. It's quite a nice little maintenance tunnel. I think that works okay, mate. I 
very nice little glow Boom. yeah you get the you really get the um, the glow from the sides and you get a feeling that the different sections of um Generators are each like separated a bit. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a nice little lead through as well to the blue arch, basically, as well. That's sort of going up yep. over the thing. Yep, no, happy with that. If I go along and plonk these in, do you want to follow down doing the um, putting in those back uh, foundation pieces and then um, doing the dips on the coal lines? Sure. Uh, you know, no, I'm, I'm going to put some um, actual, I'm going to go back to the blueprint and going to change a bit to make it easier to do the dips because ah okay oh yeah it needs the foundation piece lower doesn't it or something or a smaller piece yeah yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's gonna be a headache or we can just do it in the blueprint and get on with it really quickly yeah that's a good idea that is a good idea the only thing is the belt okay. direction will change Depending I'm, not on the, I'm not actually going to put in the belt. Yep. Okay. I'm just going to put in the. Um, the. Uh, yeah. The yep. No, that's walls. Really just the supports, yeah. Give me a second. My last two armored nuts. So you're not going to hear any more crunching after this. <laughs> oh, I actually haven't noticed any, but good, good. <laughs> I have been a bit uh, sure whether people were hearing me down the data chips, but I haven't heard any complaints. So. Nope. I don't know if anybody's still watching, are they? Um. No idea. I don't have a count on, you see, to see. Doesn't matter. We're happy. Hopefully those that have stayed in or watched or watching anyway are enjoying the playing around with this craziness. done and there's another thing that I wanted to put in the blueprint as well please bear with me for a little longer yep no worries okay I think that's good. Um, yeah, put the, um, the pillars in at the below the signs as well. Ah, uh, yep. Yep, yep, no, that works. Okay. Cool, let me save that then. Sure. Save. Move that into the right folder again. Edit. There is. There, yeah, morning, Manti. Hey, we, good we morning, do good have, sir. we have a tribute for you in here. Don't spoil it. 
<laughs> no, you got to find it though. <laughs> Don't save, risk it. <laughs> yep, yeah, no, you've you've got to come and jump in at some point, mate. It doesn't have to be today, but you'll have to jump in and have a hunt for it. Just something for you, mate. A special gift. Homage to the. Yes. Oh dear, I'll have to drop in at some point, but not tonight. <laughs> yeah, no, you will have to, mate. Yeah, I think we're good to go with it. Okay, I'll resave. Save blueprint. So, I think it's safer if, if you do the saving. Yep. 100%. Yep. Do not want to find out. <laughs> Looks impressive though. Thank you, mate. Yeah, we're getting there slowly. We've just been redoing the blueprints underneath um, here to sort out some of the design niggles that we had um, on certain things. So, um, Extra's been putting in a lot of work with that side of things we're just going to uh, I'll just delete this blueprint here and then we can lay down a new one removing all the um, walkways as well Put them in there adjust the position yeah Have you seen the dome at the end, Manti? Uh, it's not finished yet, we've got half of it done. But you can see the um, tiny little pinpricks of light that twinkle as you move around. And you can see that all the way back from the other end of the tunnel. And that's um, it's basically all it is, is these tiny little signs put on the ends of these at varying lengths. So they're all different lengths. And then basically as you move around, of course, the edges of the other ones cut in front and stuff. So it gives it that sort of slight twinkly look as you move around. It's crazy. It was good fun though. sure how this one's going to work here we'll just try it we may have to adapt it because of the belts yeah the belt craziness is going to interfere there we may have to do a um craziness <laughs> design sorry yeah it's like a starry night and uh, this save now currently is at 214, uh, 215 hours, um, which is probably about accurate, even though I've left it running um, a few times for the day um, because of the work that Extra's put in. So it probably compensates out for his time. Uh, welcome back, the Alag. Yeah, that's good, mate. 50 bucks off, not to be sniffed at. 
I am missing one of the balls for the belt correction. Oh. What do you mean? One of the, uh, one of the conveyor, um, what's it called? The conveyor poles? Yeah. Yeah, it's just not there. Oh, that's odd. Okay, let's, um, go back to the blueprint designer then. Back to the supposed drawing to be board. four of them. Yeah. Did I just delete that? <laughs> I, I think didn't you just deleted the whole blueprint. I didn't realise you were on that one. Let's go back and redo it. I, I had just finished it. I like it's perfect now. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. There's four on the blueprint though, designer. Uh, yeah, on the in the designer. Well, maybe you saved it just before I placed it or something. Oh. Try again. I'm still doing it. I don't know why I keep pressing escape instead of Q. I know why, because it work. Escape is one of the key things to get back out of whatever you're currently using. Bad habits Just die hard. The fact that you're always trying to escape. From work. <laughs> yeah, just trying to escape from work, exactly. <laughs> right, let's try it here, see what happens. One is done. H. Right. There's the first one in. Check that one and see if it's got the four. Got four in it. No, it hasn't. How weird. <laughs> that is seriously weird, mate. I think, yeah. Maybe. Okay, Never. I'll tell you what. Let's go back to the blueprint. We'll take out those two middle, both the middle ones, because this one's actually floating as well in the air. Which one? The short one. The conveyor pole. Yeah, but but look, the, it has to be floating. I, I I just delete them after I'm done. Ah, uh, okay. Just, you delete them. It's after. just the guide point to do the belt and then right, delete got you. the. Yeah. Uh, so let's go back to the blueprint. Delete the two. Re-put in two in. new ones and see if that fixes. Yep. Yep. <laughs> or we could you know live with it and fix it but no no. <laughs> no 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 what keyboard did you get lag what did you end up doing I'll tell you what we'll do as well on here we'll clear designer and load reload the blueprint Weird, it's loading the four there. Uh, you know what's happened? My queue has stopped working. E works, but Q doesn't. It's that weird glitch again. Oh. And you can. Uh Go in and out of the photo mode and then it works, or? No, this is what happened last time, do you remember? Yep. K70 call from Corsair. I don't know it. Those are good. Hmm. Mechanical. Yep. I just got a new keyboard myself um, just over a week ago. Probably about two weeks ago now because mine had finally given up the ghost and I've tried something a bit different and I don't know whether it's a good keyboard or not I have no idea 
um, but I know it's designed in Germany. It's a Rockat Vulcan mechanical keyboard. Yeah. I've been pleased with it so far, but I don't know anything about them. Unless you are like really into them, if you spend, let's say, 50, 60 on a mechanical keyboard of of a brand name like that, there's not much between them. Like, yeah. and, you know, this keyboards are like a subculture. There's people that, as a hobby, do nothing else but build and, and think about keyboards. <laughs> but um, it's a whole, this whole rabbit hole you can go down. Yeah. Right now. Well, they're all the mechanical keyboards in New Zealand to get reasonable ones are expensive. They're generally between two and four hundred, five hundred dollars. Um, so they're not cheap, um, but uh, they certainly, obviously, are nicer than standard keyboards for when you're playing. So where are we? So I've lo reloaded that blueprint. I need to. I can't put down a foundation lower and think because my Q button's gone, mate. <laughs> so I'll either have to re-log the game, um, if you're happy for me to do that. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Otherwise. Okay. Are you safe? Yep. Cool. Let me save the game. Save. So just so I don't lose that. This is um, under the uh, do the thing, you know. Just, yeah, just do it. You know, exactly. you know you need to reload. So just you know, go ahead and do it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We've tried the been, been there before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's no easy answer. Just do the thing, and then and then it's fine. <laughs> it's a much shorter and easier way to do it than. Exactly. Fighting it for days <laughs> we're going to find out exactly how many people are watching uh, when they uh, when they all pile in uh, if they snipe the uh, session login <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, it, it would still be the same session I don't think so right no it'll be a new one I'll send you a new link mm. It's loading. It may fix the blueprint issue anyway. Just a thought. It may. There you go, Mac. Sent you the link. Discord DM. Uh, this is kind of a crossover. It is a mechanical keyboard, but a quiet one. It's also trimmed to just a basic keyboard, no extra buttons. I'll never use. Yeah, that's fair enough, mate. Sometimes keeping things simple is better, to be honest. I've been uh, a big fan of um, what they call ten keyless, <laughs> where they don't have the number, uh, the number section. Yeah. Because that's where your mouse is. Either that or your hands are too far apart. Apart. So. Yeah. And I'm not an accountant, so. <laughs> I don't need like a dedicated thing for that. The only reason why I got the one with the extra keys is purely, just purely, not because of gaming, because I don't use it for gaming, but it's if I ever work from home or have to work from home. Um, doing the work that I do, I would need it. So it's kind of, it's a there in case. Exit tip number 35. <laughs> Happy birthday. Right, where are we? foundations so we can put that back in to give us the height adding microtransactions <laughs> what 
Voiding relatives. Okay. Is it still not logged you in? No, I am. Going. Is that going to be longer? Just, okay. Square is enough. No. It's better if they're, uh, yeah, uh, two more apart, two, two wider, so. One further back, yep. No, 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 no. So the, it's total four wide. Like that? It, now it's two wide, so oh. I'd like it to be four wide. So it was right then. Further? No, one further. Hey. This yeah. one's got to come back in. And that one also. Yep. Yep. That's how it was. Yep. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at your stream, but there's a delay, so I'm, uh. I'm being annoyed <laughs> at what you did 10 seconds ago. <laughs> I love it. No, not like that. Like this. Yeah, well, that's how it was. I just deleted it all. <laughs> not, not like how you did it. <laughs> Beautiful. Love it. The reason why this build has taken me so long <laughs> Because of all the quote unquote help I've been getting. <laughs> uh, no, you've been very helpful. And Mentiser also been very helpful when he came in and uh, make a gamer of course who came in for a bit as well and helped out we won't talk about the fact we had to delete all of his stuff again <laughs> we we will not <laughs> stop talking about that for a long time i think <laughs> the thing care. that needs to be discussed <laughs> at length <laughs> repeatedly bull <laughs> uh, as I always say, it was the thought that counts, and it was a kind gesture. It was part of the process. Yeah. It was just all half a metre out, as I discovered it when I got to the end, so I had to delete the whole thing. Oh, uh, well. True. Anyway. Right, so we've realigned that. I can take the foundation piece out. Let's just try it again. Resave. Save blueprint. Yes. Blueprint is now saved. It's my Q button is working. Woohoo! Edit intercold plant apply changes. Right. Meanwhile, there's another one here that I'm just fixing manually. But what? <laughs> Let's just uh, plonk this in now and see if this works. Oh yeah, come on. Oh, not J. Don't want to do J. I want to do H. There we go. I think that's right. Yep. Boom. I so love dropping blueprints in. It is a satisfactory. <laughs> Yeah, how many supports have we got? Not even sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have four supports. That fixed it. The reboot fixed it. So, that's good. Well, that happened. Yep. Yeah. Right. We continue putting in the uh, missing foundations that. Somebody mm. erroneously deleted. <laughs> Who would that be? Who on earth would do a thing like that? So good. So I'm going to have to break this line for a minute and redo the belt. Come 
messing me around. Uh, it's too close to see. There you go. That should be off. Yes. Awesome. Flows lovely. And then we can delete the two pillars. Sweet. That looks quite nice. I must have been, I like that. There's a nice glow down there looking down on that. Bit ominous, but. Yes, but it's cool though. It's not sort of like a horrible. Omnibus. It's just a. It's a horrible ominous, just a nice ominous. Yes. What? <laughs> not what that word means. <laughs> Did you? Oh no, I think I've just done, done something. I've been a plonker, sorry. I wasn't going to say, but... Please ignore me. You're on that one, okay. I'll come back here. And Have you done this one down here, or is this uh, the old version? No, that's one. That one should be done. The um, conveyor should already be good, so you can just delete the poles and. Yeah. This one here is going to need a little bit of different working on the end because of the way the belts go but I'll come back to that in a minute well, that's why I'm only lowering the belt by one right so yeah oh that one okay yep uh, I, I know what you mean. yep 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 Still on a straight line. No power. Why have we got no power? Oh, these haven't been done yet. Okay. These ones are on no power as well. Okay, they haven't got water. So that's got to be sorted. Why has it got no water? Why has it got no water? There's water here. Oh, there's no water in that pipe. Okay. Might be. We are missing water. Just reconnect them. We are missing water. On one of these pipes under here. Yep, that pipe there is missing water. Yep. So. Which one is that? That is the question. Nothing about it. I've got to go under. I can't fit in. Uh, this is the problem though. I'm not on. That's why I like um, fly pack because I can actually get underneath properly and have a look. Um, Oh, one of them didn't. Yeah, this, over there. this one here has not got water. Let me have a look over here. Check these. It's got water. That's got water. That's got water. Water. 
water, water, water. No water. Right, that one there is the problem. It looks like it's a, a BK problem. Yeah, there's no water going to that pipe at all. Why have I so I've cocked up somewhere? The name Popcrack, do you know what it what it stands for? No. I, I know I know it as um as as uh Pepcock, but it it's close enough that I'm pretty sure that, that that's what it translates to. But Pepcock is an um is an IT uh, thing where if you've had a service call and you've fixed it, you can just put Pepcock in in the in the description hmm. of what the problem was. And Pepcock means problem exists between keyboard and chair. <laughs> user problem. Yep. Exactly. So <laughs> uh, user problem. Please replace user and try again. Yep. But um, you know you can't really put that down in in a field. You know. It, uh, so Pepcock is a, is a brilliant, and I'm not sure what what Popcack what the O would be, but it's close enough that I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. But maybe I'll ask him. Manti, it was a bit more than that. Someone didn't forget to turn the tap on. Someone plumbed in two pipes to the wrong pipe. I me. <laughs> Somebody. Let's not let's not get down bogged down in the details. Somebody. <laughs> Some some total noob who doesn't know what he's doing. It's just screwed up the entire cold. Right, let's try that. We now have water. We now have water in the pipe. That's a good start. There's multiple that haven't <laughs> that are missing flow, right? No, shouldn't be. Yep, there's multiple. It's all good, my end now. And that one pipe that was a problem is filling, so that's good. Well, see if all the lights turn. Yes. Yes, we are upside down. We are working upside down, definitely. I feel it, I tell you today. I was just saying earlier, Manti, that this week's been one of those weeks at work and my brains have been totally fried. <laughs> so I have not been thinking straight today at all. So it's been a good thing Extra's been online because something's actually been accomplished. Yay, we have water in the pipes. Right, that should start actually producing better water flow now for the generators because they should actually now be all getting the amount that meant to in each pipe and not four water extractors on one pipe and none on the other. So, yay, we have water. Ooh, still hasn't got water there yet. It looks like it might be just about. It was this one uh, that you've just reconnected. This one oh, here. That this one here is still not working by the look of it. Which There's is the two same. more that are not. Two more sections that are not working. Hmm. Two more pipes that are out. What's going on? Yeah, there is two pipes out. Why? Why, why, why? Okay. We've all 
still got water at this point here, so is it that they need an extra pump? I'm wondering if they need a. Um, they've reached their limit. What am I doing? Get out of it. See, that's got water. That one hasn't. That one has. Why? Why have you not got water? So let's delete a couple of these so we can get to them. Actually, happy with the service entrance. It's actually helping me fix a few things. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. Right, let's take that one out and re put a new bed pipe in. See if also that mind your head sign just looks good. Yeah. Just... We have a problem there. Why? Why, why, why? Okay. That's really weird. Really, really weird. So the pipe had water in, so I took a section out and reconnected it, and it's now got no water in it. Okay. Why? Yeah, that's just... Pipes. Why? <laughs> I so hope they fix pipes. Hmm. We have a puzzle. Yes, hoping, but yes, hoping, but um, what yeah. I find, I don't have a lot of faith in it. No. Because of the nature of the problem. Yeah. So what's going on? Is it? Is it because it's not pumped? Maybe we do. We need a maybe we need a pump on there. I don't know. But we got fifty pumps on. I think on all of them, haven't we? So it should be functioning. Let me go around to that one. See, they've got water in, so that's technically working and flowing. So all pipes are flowing, got water on at this end. As soon as they go underground, we have... One thing you could do is just disconnect the pipe and reconnect it and rebuild it. Sometimes yeah. that fixes it. Yeah, I've done that, and it it actually made the next section not have any water. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what's going on. Brilliant. Yeah. Get to those two, but I think. I think most of it has water there. It's here, here, here. So all of these have got water apart from that one. Which is derelict. Water. Come on, you can do this. Um. <laughs> Still no water. Why? Okay, well, let's 
do the next crazy thing and take out the floor hole because maybe it's the floor hole that's the issue. Elimination. Process by elimination. on that section. Is it going to fill up that section though? Still not doing that one, okay. Excuse me sir, I have water problems. Read the build that bit of pipe, see if that works again. No, it does not. That means the joint is a problem. Possibly. So. Hmm, that's interesting. That is interesting. That was a double jo uh, Looks like there was a double um, connection one on top of the other. So one pipe was probably attached to the one. No, still not working. Yep. How bizarre is that? Come on. Once you get that kind of problem, the whole, th the whole thing needs to be rebuilt, basically. Yeah. my head in now so I just replaced that connection the previous pipe which was full which I just replaced and got working is now not working <laughs> you gotta be seriously kidding me that is just so dumb What is going on? Why, 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 why? This is just unbelievable. Unbelievable.
and he's posting pictures of his burger. <laughs> Not Manti, sorry, Farty. I was thought he was in bed by now. Like you mentioned before, that doesn't affect me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very weird problem. Every time I replace the pipe and then it stops working, it's like, why? Why, 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 why? Yeah, this, this kind of thinking can drive you completely, completely mad. Well, I'm already mad, but it's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's confounding the problem. <laughs> It's compounding the problem. Can you open it up for a second? Because it's empty now. Can you open it up? Open what up? Sorry. To the interface of the pipe. Sorry. Well, when you build the pipe, yeah. when it was empty. So, build the pipe, and it was empty. So, um, I'm. Well, it was Sorry, I'm looking at your screen, but I'm I'm at a delay, so. Uh, okay, okay. So that one there underwater, I'll wait until you've seen the water yeah. is up full. Let me know when you got that one. There you go. So. That pipe there, or that piece, is full of water, yeah? Yeah. Which is the piece under here. Uh, which you'll see in a second. On screen. I'm, I'm actually at the at the location as well now. Oh, okay. It's a little bit quicker. I'm just going to flush the one underwater to see if it fills back up. Yeah. See what happens to the one up there. You know what? I'm mm -hmm. just going to remove this floor hole and, and rebuild both pipes. Yep, I've done all that and I've replaced the floor hole, done everything, and it's down and goes. And each time it corrects itself, and then I'll do the next bit of pipe, and then it stops this one working. <laughs> What's the bang? You'll do it this time and it will work. And it'll be a oh. BK glitch or I'm gonna new create a new phrase and call it a glitch <laughs> ew it's working <laughs> it feels right up right go to the next go to the next section it's so hateful go to the next section and it's empty yeah exactly and that's been the problem so whenever I sort that one out this one here then stops working okay so we're going to go all the way to the end now to make sure that the contamination doesn't is eliminated, we could in fact. Uh, I'm just, uh, just going to go all and, and delete all of them, and then put the new one in from the working end. Uh, yep. Yeah. It's still not working. That one's not filling up. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I've replaced that joint a couple of times now. And as soon as you replace that joint, this pipe then stops working. Okay, hold up. <laughs> How about now? No. Now, let me just try something here for a second. I'm going to stick a pump on here. And I just want to see, in case there's a pumping error. So I've stuck a pump on. 
but no and now the pipe's empty above it and this is what happens so if I take that back it oh the pipe is now empty even though it's full and the pipe previous to that is now also empty <laughs> but slowly filling man something weird we never had these issues on the other side at all very odd very very odd very okay this is now working and filling so I'm going to think I'm going to assume that the there's some sort of contamination going on but like, that's what I'm calling it oh, hang on a minute hang on a minute right right hang on a minute Hang on a minute. I've found a pump back here that didn't have a cable on it. And that may be... And the, the water... The other ones were filling because they were lower than that. Oh, yep. oh yep. God. Yeah. Okay, so... Yep. It was a BK issue. It was a pod... Pepcock. A pod... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. User error. Please replace user and try again. Yep. Delete user. <laughs> Bit rash, maybe, but. <laughs> Bit rash, but wise course. <laughs> effective. We are an effective team. There we go. It's filling up. Yay. Now we have and then the one next to it is also empty, so you might want to check the next pump over as well. Which one's that? Because they're all full here. Is the... They're all full there, but I will go back and check. That one has the same problem. The, um, let's see, if you count from the west, the second uh, row bottom pipe. That one has the same problem, because it, it has water in it uh, up until a certain height, but not high enough to reach. Aha, uh -huh. hang on, found another one red lined. Right. That should solve that problem. It was a definite BK issue. So there was two red pumps, basically. I'm not seeing any movement here yet. No, well, it'll take a little bit. If you need to flush the entire pipe and see what happens. Uh, full network, you mean? Yeah, full pipeline. Yeah. Um. Fun. Just trying to see where if we've got any fluctuations because we've our power's gone up and down like a yo-yo at the moment. Yep, these ones at the end are not getting enough coal, so we do have a coal supply issue. So what I'm going to do is turn these last four off. I wonder how that could be because and let of the, the way I fill up. Because there's four cars that each are getting 750 coal. So on that, on the second bout that comes up, is that second bout, um, definitely feeding the last 20, because you can only feed 20 off one bout, basically, I, I believe. Oh yeah. 
let me do the maths again, it's 37.5 uh, divided by no times 20, which is 750, which 750, is what we're doing on, on yeah. belt. Yeah. Yeah. So it should basically it means the first section is 8 and then 4. And this is where it starts. So. Yeah. Look, the belt is full, it is backed up. And now it's starting to break down a little bit. So once it's logged up, because I've I've turned these four off, so these these will top up, and then um, once they're fully topped up, the belt's behaving really weirdly for me. These all four at the end here completely fill up, and then when they're full, then I'll switch on one at a time and see what happens. Because even these other ones here, you see, they're right down 19, 20, and they shouldn't be. So, somewhere we're not getting enough, we're definitely not getting enough coal along with this second belt. I did see the train um, at one empty train car as well. so yeah. Maybe something to do with the balancing on the other end. How oh, convenient! A train! <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a look here. Got how many we've got here? One, two, three. Definitely 20 on that one, so that's alright. So we should be. Yeah, I wonder if it is a supply problem. See, we've we've got other ones. Generators are slowly shutting down here, right across this last 20. That's not good. So, let me switch them off. These ones are still working okay. On that first few, so we'll leave those running. Now I've turned those last eight generators off. Our power line has gone back to flat again. So it's definitely that last eight that are the issue. There's one little glitch, one little glitch in amongst all of that. So somewhere there's another one. Yeah, well. but it was also, I look at uh, the, um, Distribution of all the uh, materials here in the in the train uh, or in in the um, on the train station side on the mm. supply side. Yep. One of those four uh, wagons is empty. The other ones, the other ones are all full. So I'm going to pull, follow that specific line now and see, see if the mine has turned off or something. Yep.
this is another project is this back end area all yet to be sorted <laughs> I haven't yet decided on the design for this end so where are we all the belts are moving though Turn report to minutes. To be doing fine. Okay, this this one here has definitely got issues. This what? last container is basically empty, and all the others are, are, are basically full. So all the That's others. That's what I was saying. Yeah. So why is that one? I followed. I followed the. Um, the belt to that mine. Mm. The miner. Because there's there's five belts, right? And they each have six hundred on it. Yeah. On them. And then there's the one of those uh, that gets divided over those four, which makes four times seven fifty, which is. What, what the plant needs. Yeah. Um, they get 600 per belt apart from the one that comes with the from the uh, pure note which has got the 780 or whatever it is is that does that actually deliver 780 oh yeah that should be on because it's overclocked so it, it should really do um Yeah, it's on 780. I mean, I can overclock uh, it so it's over the top, but that's okay. I had it set I at mean, 780. It's better, it's better if it's set at 600 because that's, you know, otherwise the numbers might get, go off. <laughs> so I'm going to set it at 600 and I'm going to have to wait for the yeah, system to rebalance. There's a problem with that, though. The, which is? Uh, the calculation for the 80 generators and the coal was based off having this producing 780 no wasn't it so it needs four belts of 750 that's what we 37.5 times 80 is 3000 so we need 3000 times 600 yeah, so we need 3,000, which is five, uh, five times 600. Okay, so we should be producing more than enough, then, uh, coal. Yeah, but because one of the um, uh, one of the belts is pressured a bit too... Oh, is overpressured, so to speak. Mm. What happens is um, the miner that is uh, associated with the pressure that's too high yep. <laughs> actually gets... Uh, actually shuts down for a few seconds and that if you look at that thing a delay yeah that's creating the wobble and that's so i'm going to put this at 600 i've done it see if that fixes, fixes the issue yeah you've done it yep what are you here with me yeah i'm outside <laughs> okay just did the same thing yeah, yeah but um Okay, well, let's see if that sorts it out. It should, but now or now? No. Because I thought, if anything, that would fill up this container quicker, though. See, yeah, that, you, you that coal's now, so, but that coal's now completely empty from that container, so it's got nothing. And yep. there's the problem. You, you, you'd think so, but the thing is that. Um, because there's 780, uh, the excess needs to go somewhere, and it goes on one of the four belts, and gives them some sort of back pressure to that to that uh, to that belt, right? Which then means that that belt stops, and the coal plant on the other end of that belt needs to stop producing for a second, so it turns off. 
See, we're getting a fluctuation in the supply still here at the moment. Yep. That it's middle, just that fluctuation that, that messes it up. That middle belt is still fluctuating. It's Oh, the middle belt, the, the, the one that goes in... And then splits. We're getting big gaps in it. Unless it was just the last of the fluctuations, but it looks like we're getting gaps. Yeah, what, what you're seeing visually on the belts is not really a great representation of what's actually happening. No. Consequence of the way they coded it. Okay, let's see what's happening. Now, what we may need to do though I, I is... Do, I do kind of kind of still like the way that this, this balancer came out. Like, yeah. Kind of a... it looks... Fun. It's fun to look at. <laughs> the um, way it fits under that arc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It did just sort of work. Um, this last one then, because that's not. This is now not going to repair itself until this container is full of coal, which we're not going to get. So we're going to continue to get a, a lack of supply of coal until we can manually fill this up otherwise. So. Um, we can. We can, uh, as a test, um, just rob one of the other ones and just fill it up. Yeah, so we're going to have to... I might set up a... How can I do this? What do you want to do? Um, what I want to do is make sure that these containers are full. All, all of them are maxed out. So I'm wondering whether I need to get another coal node and temporarily bring down a line to fill them. So that we can... can... And then we can do a proper test from there. Is there another coal node here? No. No, it's up on the hill. We'd have to bring it in from over there. I'll go and quickly get grab a crazy coal mine. <laughs> oh, that's really far off. Yeah. I think there's three pure nodes up here. There's also a truck that is driving. What's that doing? It shouldn't be driving. Just sitting there. It's just sitting there, yeah. Map said it was driving. Uh, not three. Let's do that. Um, how am I going to run this? Let's just do a biomass burner. Or two. Because we have some liquid fuel we can use for the moment. One, two, three, four. Why does this thing say it's only running 71%? Yeah, there's, there's something not... Oh boy. Not right. Oh. What's gone on? Someone's broken my power supply. Ploy. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this line. Let's try to get to the edge where I can see where I'm going. Right. So what we can do see what we do here. Let's just quickly do this. This one's completely backed up. Yeah, it's this. Why is... It's odd. Oh boy, I think I know what's happening. Yep. Similar to the pipes. Oh, this is it. Found it. Is there a problem somewhere? Yep. It was done. It's done. Jesus. Um, <laughs> there was one of the belts that was 
in place, but not actually con connected to to the splitter uh. or to to the merger. Yeah, yeah. So one of the sp one of the belts was getting only six hundred, and the other one was trying to do nine hundred. Nice. So I fixed it. It should all work now. You can even put the other one back at seven eighty to make sure that there's an sort of an oversupply. Yeah. And the mm -hmm. one that's at seven the the one that we can put at seven eighty, uh the pure one is the middle one that gets separated into everything. So how much does this Oh didn't realise that. Okay, let's change that. Didn't realise how much the uh minor threes used in power it's like ridiculous amount of power right let's try again yeah yeah they do they they do use a good good amount of power especially when you overclock them like that yeah yeah 100 megawatts didn't realize that <laughs> you got five of them so of of the of the 15 gigawatts that you're producing like <laughs> Half a gigawatt is already going just to the miners. <laughs> you, got, you got no water yet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's the same thing with my fuel plant. Like it uses about seven gigawatts. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, isn't it? So let's just Okay, that's a bit better. Mark two. Overclocked is only 40 megawatts that's fine i can cope with that with two uh, biomass burners right what i need to do is set up a little awesome shop so i can nick some fuel out there we don't need extra coal do you um hope you, you realize that uh we we're um, just doing it so we can top up the um Oh, like I said, um, we can put the uh, put the other machine back at 750, and that'll top up the whole system. 780. No, oh, I've got one contain, oh. one container. Here, I know, I know you're kind of committed to this to this project, but it's it's <laughs> it's not. <laughs> That's all right. I've got a container here filling up anyway, which I can use for. I can pull across when it's got to a certain point and use as much then as we can to help assist the top up. Boom. As you can see, this end of the thing, I've been playing around with the certain looks of things and doing things and given up, well, not given up, but just moved on to do the other it. And I'll have to come back and sort all this end out and work out what style and what I'm doing. The style, uh, the style here reminds me a bit of um, what the... Uh... Manti? His name. Manti, oh. sir. The the big streamer, Fluxo. Fluxo is doing. Yep. Yeah, I like uh, some of Fluxo's builds. Um, I hadn't actually watched him until recently. Um, after I'd actually started this build, I'd I'd started to watch some of his streams and stuff. I actually won a T-shirt. On one of his giveaways, I haven't received it yet in the post, so I imagine it'll take a bit of time because he's probably got yeah. to get them printed. Yeah, and... <laughs> yeah, but that was quite funny. I was like, oh, and I said, you sure you're posting to any anywhere in the world? And he was like, yep. So I was like, okay. <laughs> in New Zealand, mate, oh, yeah. it could have been worse. Yeah, could have been could have been me when I was still living in San Martin. Try shipping something to a Caribbean island, it's completely <laughs> impossible. I um I re up the um what's it called the the, the miner here. So. Yeah, cool. Yeah. I'm just topping up bits as from that container up there that's loading up. So 
also redistributed a bit of it, so wondering why is there suddenly more in there. Yeah. Okay, so problem sorted. But it was just one tiny belt. One of the really small ones. Between <laughs> two of the um between two of the splitter and mergers here that in this whole thing. That was just not moving. It's always the way. That's all it takes. The whole fucking system is is, is now suspect. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Again, user problem. <laughs> I'm I'm not sure about this one because I I couldn't have placed the belt without actually connecting it to something. So, oh, is it one you did? Yeah. Uh, and I don't know I don't I know how it how I, it I won't got complain. there without it being without it actually flowing. So. I was blaming myself for it. I'm not saying it's not a user problem, but I don't see how I could have done... Like, if I wanted to, to, to create the situation, <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> so. That's what they always say, isn't it, with technical issues? It's like, it's trying to recreate the problem. It's like, well, sometimes you can't. Well, we're getting to that point where it's actually time for me to close the stream in a minute. Um, All right. So we will. Yeah, I remember I had um. Sorry, I had one 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 story, one more story, but mm. I had one um moment where I was I was doing a uh, like a su support uh, uh customer service support, you know. Mm -hmm. And this was for uh, you know business to business, so that they they had databases of customers, and they were making selections on those databases. And they they tried to like getting those selections, like from from the last seven years, all the customers that did X and ordered Y and blah blah blah, all you know all that. And this guy had made a pretty complex selection, and he thought he would get about you know fifteen hundred people that he could send uh, this offer to. There were seven people that, that came out, and he was like, why is this only seven people? And it was just like an exclusive, uh, an, you know, an exclusive or instead of a, well, whatever. Pretty simple thing, but it, there was only seven people that came out of it. And he was like, okay, so, okay, so that's worthless. And no, 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 that's not worthless. Those seven people are your most loyal customers. Yeah. Those are the people that ordered the ordered X and Y every year in the past seven years. <laughs> exactly. So send the, send those seven people, uh, you know, some flowers, and then and then do the do the do what you wanted to do, but don't throw this away. <laughs> exactly. Yep. <laughs> I, do, I thought it was pretty cool. Like no, no these seven people, like these are these, these are these, mm. th these are your people, you know. Send them some flowers. <laughs> Yeah, look after Some your cookies customers whatever. and they'll look after you. Yeah, but but you know, th there's that. But also, like, something something uh, came out of the the error that was actually worth looking at. Yeah. So, I don't know. All yeah. right, so good progress, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, we've had good progress today. Um, I'm pleased with that. I mean, we've been had switching a lot around we got the other water extractors done which is good and we've been obviously changed the two blueprints around for all the foundations which we're going to slowly work through um that's been good um found a technical hitch which is interesting and hopefully solved um but yeah it's all good we're getting there and it's uh, definitely coming along In the look of the whole thing, so uh, I'm really pleased. The it's only a daunting thing is the, uh, the last half of the dome. Yeah, I mean, we, there's a lot of work involved in a build like this, and it's it's just time consuming. So it's like it has taken a long time, and I did say I think originally it was probably going to be close to 300 hours to actually get this thing completed, um, the coal plant. So that's not going to be too far off that. No, I don't think so. Um, so that looks about right. But yeah, good build. So thank you to uh, you, of course, Extra, for um, joining us today. It's been fun. 
and um, thank you for everybody else in chat as well that's um, either commented or just been lurking quietly in the background uh, we do appreciate you guys and girls popping in and saying hi and uh, and watching the insanity as it goes on <laughs> so if you like what you're seeing build wise and stuff feel free to uh, give us a follow and um, but if not it doesn't matter I'm not worried have a great week and uh, we will see you all again probably in about a fortnight's time in fact it might be a little bit less than that possibly just depends on because um, we've got a couple of days coming up in fact of public holidays so I may be able to do a stream during those I'll have to wait and see um, thank you posture thanks mate for being around hanging in and uh, we do appreciate it and everybody else that's been on there and uh, yeah just looking back through we had quite a few on today which was quite nice yeah it's good so thank you guys yep catch you again a couple of weeks time all being well take care <laughs>